confession. Quand tu commences avec Dieu avec la vraie confession. When you begin with the Lord. Quand tu commences avec Dieu. With a heart open unto Him. Avec le cœur ouvert vers lui. With the right words. Avec de vraies paroles. The presence of God will not be far away from you. La présence de Dieu ne sera pas loin de toi. Viewers all over the world. Chers téléspectateurs. This is the time. Ça c'est le temps. To talk to God in prayer. De parler à Dieu à la prière. This is the time. C'est le moment. To pour your heart. D'ouvrir ton cœur. This is the time. C'est le moment. To settle what you need with God. De demander ce que tu as besoin de la part de Dieu. If you are still standing, opening your eyes. Si tu es encore debout, looking at somebody beside you. Regarde ceux qui sont à côté de toi. You are not ready for what God is about to do. Tu n'es pas encore prêt pour ce que Dieu veut faire. You are going to open your mouth and say, God. Tu vas ouvrir ta bouche et dire, Dieu. Light me in your presence. Lumine-moi dans ta présence. Let that glorious light. Que cette lumière glorieuse. Beam upon my life today. Soit sur ma vie aujourd'hui. The light of God is power. La lumière de Dieu est la puissance. Jesus says. Jésus dit. I am the light of the world. Je suis la lumière du monde. He that follows me. Ce qui me suit. He that believes in me. Ce qui croit en moi. Shall not walk in darkness. Ne marchera pas dans les ténèbres. If you are in the presence of God si at this hour, tu es dans la présence de Dieu en ce moment. You still value darkness more than light. Et tu es en train de valoriser la ténèbre plus que la lumière. How dark is your darkness? Comment noir est ta, est ta ténèbre? Open your mouth and say, God. Ouvre ta bouche et dis Dieu. Let your light shine. Que ta lumière brille. Upon my soul. Sur mon âme. Let your light shine. Que ta lumière brille. Upon my heart. Sur mon cœur. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Continue à prier le Seigneur. You need the light of God. Tu as besoin de la lumière de Dieu. To receive from Him this moment. Pour recevoir de lui en ce moment. You need the light of God. Tu as besoin de la lumière de Dieu. To be free. Pour être libre. By the reason of this minister conference. Pour la raison de cette conférence de ministres. Open your mouth and pray. Ouvre ta bouche et continue à prier le Seigneur. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Au nom de Jésus, nous prions. To every point in time. Pour à chaque point, there is a man. Il y a un homme that is set aside by God. Qui est envoyé par Dieu to touch nations. Pour toucher les nations. To touch kingdoms. Pour toucher les royaumes. God used Elijah. Dieu avait utilisé Élisée. To touch nations. Pour toucher les nations. To bring down. Pour faire tomber. The cancer of darkness. Et les And as Elijah was living, Et pendant que Elie partait, Elijah stand Elie était tenu debout in his power. Dans sa puissance. In the mantle. Dans le manteau of Elijah. De Elie. Moses. Moïse was used. Avait été utilisé to set the children of Israel free. Pour délever les Israélites from the land of captivity. De la terre de la captivité. As he was living, et pendant qu'il partait, Joshua stood. Josué a été élevé. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, aujourd'hui, God is going to be using. Dieu veut utiliser our spiritual father, notre père spirituel, apostle prince, apostle prince, to raise army, pour faire élever les armées. This is the days. C'est le jour of apostle prince. D'apostle prince. And the grace of God. Et la grâce de Dieu is upon him. Est sur lui. You are going to open your mouth. Vous allez ouvrir vos bouches. And say, God. Et dit Dieu. Use your very servant. Utilise ton vrai serviteur. 
to reach my life today. Pour atteindre ma vie aujourd'hui. Utilise-le. To turn my life around. Pour tourner ma vie en rond. That by the spoken of His word. Pour que pendant que ta parole sorte de ça. May the fire fall upon my life. Que le feu tombe sur ma vie. That will bring changes. Pour apporter le changement. To my ministry. Dans mon ministère. That will bring changes. Pour apporter le changement. To my life. Dans ma vie. That will bring changes. Pour apporter le changement. To my business. Dans mes affaires. That will bring changes. Pour apporter le changement. To everything. Around me, tout ce qui est à moi. wherever you are, viewers all over the world, de Dieu. open your mouth and begin to pray. Ta bouche et continue à prier le begin Seigneur. to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin continue to pray. Continue à prier le Seigneur. Let the presence of God que la présence de Dieu touch you this moment. Te touche en ce moment. That as Jesus is passing, pendant que Jésus Christ est passé, may He not pass you by. Qu'il ne t'échappe pas. May He touch you. Qu'il te touche. In that very part dans ce moment, dans cet endroit, of your life dans ta vie. that you need his help. Que tu as besoin de l'aide. Open your mouth and pray. Ouvre ta bouche et continue à prier le Seigneur. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Au nom puissant de Jésus. At this moment, begin to pour your heart before God, raise your hand, and begin to thank God to et to à Dieu for what he Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Glorifie le, glorifie le. Give him glory. Glorifie le en ce moment. Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to reference him is the beginning and the hand. Just begin to wave your hands to Jesus. He made it possible for you to be here today. Just tell him, Father, thank you for making me be here today. Just wave your hands to Jesus. Just begin to wave your hands to him. Yeah. 
Because of Jesus 
Hallelujah. Jump your hands together for Jesus. Wonderful. Wonderful. You are doing well. I say it's doing well. You have charged the atmosphere. We are come and take dollar. Celebrate Jesus. Oh, yeah. Come and take. Which one did you need? Huh? My wife will be jealous. <laughs> My wife will be jealous. Oh, yeah. Give this one. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Jump your hands together for Jesus. If you are expecting something, jump your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Are you surprised where it was today? <laughs> I said, I said, you are just putting on rich, you are putting on suit. Let me also wear one today. <laughs> Amen. Great seven people, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Make sure it completes seven. All over the world, greet. If it is your fridge, greet your fridge. <laughs> greet your pot. <laughs> greet your table. <laughs> Hallelujah. I agree 12 people. It must complete 12. Tell them, let love lead in the body of Christ. After that, look for somebody that wear the same cloth with you and hug, and hug the person and say, I love you. <laughs> Hallelujah. After that, look for the most handsome person, most beautiful person, and hug the person and say, I love you. <laughs> if the person is not handsome, dodge the person, dodge the person. <laughs> Amen. Jump your hands together for Jesus. Please, you may be seated. Once again, I welcome everybody in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let love lead. I want you to know that I love you so much. Thank you. You love me? I love you. We shall fulfill this Monday together. Glory to God. Something is about to happen here.
you will become the talk of town. Tonight, I have come to professor. I say you will become the talk of town. I say something is about to happen tonight. That people will like to see you. If you are the one, can you turn around and say amen? Can you turn around and say amen? Look at your neighbor. Say, my life is about to change. I can hear you. Say, my life is about to change. Say, look at me. God is changing my life. Now, nah. if you are the one, can I hear your amen? Put your hands together for Jesus. You may be seated. Ezekiel chapter 37. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'll take my reading from verse 1. As I will be preaching, some of you standing for your brother or for your sister before I conclude the message your sister will send you a message that they have released the document if you are still doubting let us demonstrate power now I say let us demonstrate what power more volume. Let us demonstrate one power. Now, tonight is power. Verse 1 And the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of of the valley which was full of bones and caused me verse 2 to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry tell your neighbor if you are dry God is about to revive you Verse 3, and he said unto me, Son of man, can this bone live? And I answer, O Lord God, thou knowest. Verse 4, again he said unto me, prophesy upon this bone, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 5, God saith the Lord God unto this bone behold I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live verse 6 and I will lay sinews upon you and I will bring you up flesh upon you and cover you up with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord can I hear that amen Verse 7. So I prophesy as I was commanded. And as I prophesy, there was a noise. Behold, a shaking. There's about to be a shaking in this place. And bone came together. Bone to his bone. Verse 8. And when I be here, lo, the sign and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them verse 9 then said him unto me prophesy to the wind 
prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these signs that they may live. Verse 10. So I prophesy as he commanded me. And the breath came unto them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, and exceedingly great army. Can I hear you shout, Ami? Can I hear you say, Ami? Verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried. Hmm. Hmm. And our hope is lost. We are cut off from among our part. Therefore, prophesy, verse 12, unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves. Calabas shatter. I will open your graves. And cause you to come out out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your grave, O oh my people, and brought you up out of your grave. Verse 14. And I shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. And I shall place you in your own land. I shall place you in your own house. I shall place you in your own company. I shall place you in your own marriage. Can I hear your amen? And then shall ye know that the Lord have spoken it and perform it, says the Lord. I want to share on the message, the army of the gospel. This is a part two. Last minister conference, I shared part one of it. The army of the gospel. Early morning today, we receive the word of God. God is looking for who? A man. God is looking for a man of love. God is looking for a man that we will make an army of the gospel. Until we arise and pick up responsibility things will not change Jesus has done his part by paying the price for us we must rise up and take the gospel and run with it for the time is too short. This remind me of the 10th virgin in Matthew chapter 25. The Bible says five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. May you not be among the foolish ones. Those that were wise took their lamp and took oil, extra oil with them. Those that were foolish took their lamp without extra oil. We are in the last day that so many are winding out. We are waiting for the coming of the Lord. 
is so close but so many have given up on their faith where is your extra oil where is your extra oil Matthew chapter 25 verse 1 then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. They were all virgins. Verse 2. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. Verse 3. And they that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them. Verse 4. But the wise took oil in their vessel with their lambs. Verse 5. Why the bridegroom tarry? They all slumber and what? And sleep. We are in that era now where people are sleeping. They are already sleeping in the church. Those that should stand and cry out the words of salvation, what Jesus came to do, they are sleeping. If you are sleeping, you will wake up tonight. I'm going to make this and the dry bone together. They all slept, slept off, slumber. Both the wise and the foolish. That was my problem. Why would the wise also sleep? Some people, they were wise before, but now they have become foolish. Because of fleshy desire. What I will eat. I want to behave like my friends. They lost interest in the things of God. The things of God does not move them again. To serve God is so hard. Don't you know a dry man, somebody that is dry, very dry spiritually, to pray is a problem. To fast is a problem. To see that, to hear the message, you will sleep off. <laughs> five of them were wise and five were foolish. That is why I don't like people sleeping in church. Because that place we just read, just describe it. The danger of sleeping. I'm not talking about when you are tired, you take your rest. That one is normal. But once it is time to hear the word of God, you are sleeping. There is a big problem. A very big, you must fight against that thing because that thing does not want you to hear anything that have to do about the word of God. Can I hear your amen, somebody? Five were wise and five were foolish. Why the bridegroom tarry? The Bible said they all slept and slumber. Verse 6. And at midnight there was a cry made. The bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Both the wise, the foolish, slept on. The wise, they remember to take extra oil. But where they miss it now, they slept off. I am doing it. Look at me now. Did I die? Am I not still existing? Then you fall into it. You join them. That means the wise was in the company of the fools. And they compromised their faith and slept off. 
before this happened, they all waited. Can't you see? Some people, once we preach like this, they said, we have, we have been hearing the message that Jesus is coming. Let, let it come. <laughs> Why is he not coming? All till now, we are still hearing it. That he's coming. What is keeping him? <laughs> let it come. Even I'm tired of this world. Let it come. Let it just jot the world and take everybody. Go and read the Bible. That, that means you have not read the Bible. Go and read the Bible, what the Bible says. The Bible says, the day that it will come, no man knoweth that day. Even the angels standing in the very presence of God does not know that day. It will happen suddenly. The Bible says, we come like a thief. Jesus was speaking in John chapter 14. He said, In my father's house are many words. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Where I am, there you may be also. He said the way you know not. Show us a way. It's okay for us. Jesus said, I am the way. In Francis, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man comment unto the Father but by me. That means if you miss Jesus, you miss the father. Touch your neighbor. Touch your, touch your neighbor at the back. Say, if you miss Jesus, you miss God. If you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. <laughs> you can't miss this one <laughs> and miss the other one. If you miss this one, you must enter the other one. It's two ways. Heaven, hell. Hell exists. The book of Revelation tells us so. That this whole world will be judged one day. And every man will be rewarded according to his work. Brethren, let us remind ourselves again that we are strangers in this world. Let us remind ourselves we are strangers in this world. We will close our eyes one day. If our spiritual father could leave this world. <laughs> one day, one day. Look at your neighbor say one day. One day. One day. One day. We shall leave this world. No man can escape it. One day, one day. You won't live here forever. Therefore, whatever you are doing now, do it well. If you are treating your neighbor badly, <laughs> repent now. If you are walking in hatred, repent now. If you are bearing false weakness against people, repent now. Walk in love. The Bible says at night, the voice cried out, Behold, the bridegroom is here. All of them, they all wake up. You know when something happens suddenly and you wake up, you know first of all, you will not just see road. You will first of all wait for some time and clear your face. See what is happening. What did you say? The bridegroom is around. So it is. So it will be on that day. The bridegroom is here. Wake up. They 
all wake up, the wise quickly pick the alarm, put the extra oil because as they were waiting for many days, their oil have gone out. Took the extra one, pour it on it, and turn up the alarm. The foolish ran to the wise. Give us of your oil, for our oil have gone out. They said, we have not enough. The one I have now is for my journey to the other side of the world. Go and buy for yourself. And they all came out looking for oil to buy. And the bridegroom came. And those that were ready follow him. And the door was shut. After that, the other five came. Where is the bridegroom? They knock at the door. He said, I know you not. You will be surprised. Did I not cast out demon in your name? And say yet, the Lord said, I know you not. I just wanted to glorify my name. That is why even when the apostles, they were casting out demon one time, they came back with joy. They were happy that evil spirits submit to them. Jesus said, rejoice not that demon bow to you. Rejoice because your name is written in heaven. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are not hearing me. The armies of the gospel. Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. Verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. 19. Behold, I give unto you power to trek on serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Verse 20, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your name are written in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. That means we should not rejoice because we cast out demons. It's normal for every Christian. Once you are born again, you are being enlisted to become a soldier. In the body of Christ. Anybody can cast out demon. If your born again is genuine. But rejoice for one thing. Because your name is written in heaven. Listen. After all your journey on earth here. After all your casting out devil. You shout Holy Ghost fire on devil's head. And at the end, <laughs> you're not meeting me here. <laughs> I will say more than that. You balance the equation. You know what will happen now. Devil say, finally, evangelist, <laughs> just stay there knee down, raise up your hand. I'm going to California. Once I come back, we attend to your matter. May that not be your portion. There is a way that sin and right unto a man. The end thereof is destruction. People of God, be careful of the friends you keep. Be careful the way you talk, be careful. The way you treat people, be careful. The way you do things. For everything you do is recorded for you. Hear what Jesus says. In Matthew chapter 24. The army of the gospel. 
Matthew chapter 24. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Verse 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciple came to him for to show him the building of the temple. Verse 2. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Jesus said, all this tall beauty you see will be thrown down one day. When he will come. This same Jesus that is showing us mercy now. That day there will be no mercy. There will be no mercy. Follow me. Verse 3. And as he sat down, sat upon the Mount of Olives, his disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall this thing be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming? And of the end of the world? That's a good question. Verse 4. Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. It has already started happening. We are already seeing it. Some people claim to be Jesus. It's already happening. All the signs of the end time, earthquake, rumors of war, everything has already taken place. What we are just waiting now is bang! Is the trumpet. Follow? Verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Cease. And ye shall hear of wars, rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famine, pestilence quick in diverse places verse 8 all these are the beginning of so last time did you not see what happened in Brazil did that nation need to be told that God is alive did anybody preach to them after that happened what happened next they preached to theirself. The same Jesus they despise. They came back to honor him because they don't know what will happen next. So it will be. The Jesus that is showing mercy now, a time is coming, he will show mercy again. There is no repentance in the grave. After death, judgment begins. There is no repentance. In the grave. My brother, take off your life. My sister, take off your life. When this war shall pass in our way, what shall be the end of your life? Stick of your life. You preach to member, you neglect your own life. When this was shall pass in a way, what shall be the end of your life? As I'm preaching to you now, listen, I'm preaching to myself. I should be the first that we enter heaven in this church. If I don't enter, nobody will enter. Okay, me, I know enter, you will come enter. It's not possible. After my labor, I will not enter. You are joking. Okay, somebody say all of us. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, now my own I know. <laughs> my, my own is to preach. What you do out there, what you do in secret, I don't know.
Me, I will enter. For this church, now me go for enter. If I enter, then you see me there. Say, hey, my father, my father. I'll say, shh. They're not they talk that one here. There's only one father. <laughs> you there yet? I did. Thank you, Jesus. I want to get there on the last day. And I will move. I will see Jesus. And he will give me a handshake and say, my son, you have done well. The next person that I want to see, I'll be eager to say, that man, I must see him after I finish seeing Jesus. It's Elijah. How did you send down fire? Sit down, tell me. Let's discuss. We're in our father's house. In our father's mansion. After then, I will go to Abraham's apartment. Father Abraham, tell me. Then I will visit David. How did you kill Goliath? Tell me. We will discuss. Then I will see Prophet B. Joshua. That is the beauty of life. If you are not preparing for heaven, I pity you. I pity you. You will be blessed, oh. You will have money. You will have everything. But don't miss heaven. Punish Satan in this world. And when you get to heaven, laugh at him in hell. Say, finally, look at you now. Shameless fellow. Don't go and meet him in hell. He's terrible. He won't show mercy. We read it about Lazarus and the rich man. We read it. Jesus spoke that parable to us. That this is how it will be. And it is we. The Bible says the rich man found himself in hell. Lazarus died, was carried by the angel. But the rich man died, he was buried. Those that are not in Christ, human beings may bury them. But those that are in Christ, when they leave this world, angel escorts them. I want to walk on that street of heaven full of gold and diamond. I want to see my Lord face to face. Quiet, think about your life. Instrumentally, think about your life. Don't just play instrument and at last you go to hell. Oh, shall think about your life. I am a worker. I work with apostle. We are the one following him. Before you see him, you must see us. And you are not living a righteous life. Think about your life. Think about your life. Don't hide all that grace and begin to commit sin. It's terrible. Ha. Am I talking to somebody here? Pastor, you must think twice. Don't preach to people and you become a castaway. Paul says so. He said, I don't want to preach to you. And on that day, I become a castaway. God forbid. If any man be in Christ, he said, new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. People have lived, lived before you. Where are the Rehabonki that we shout in Kuse, demon we bow, fire we come down. He finished his mission, gone home. Where are the Ketikuma? Gone home. Where are the Kenehegi? Gone home. Where are the Babalola? Gone home. At Bishop Bensi Dausa, gone home. What day, pastor? You must leave this world, though. <laughs> you must leave the don't just come to conference. I need a fire, fire will be given. I want to be blessed, you will be blessed. But don't neglect your salvation. 
Let me talk to somebody today. Don't neglect your salvation. Don't neglect your salvation. Turn with me. The book of Thessalonians. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 but I would not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope verse 14 for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again Paul is talking here even so them which slept in Jesus we God bring with him. 15 for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. 16 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall be raised first. Verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Verse 18. Wherefore comfort one another with this word. Don't forget to preach this very word. Let somebody read for us. Can you bring some mic? The congregation. Let somebody read for us. Matthew chapter 3 verse 1. To three. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Put mic. In, in those days, came, in those days, came John the Baptist. Came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of preaching Judea, in the wilderness of Judea, of Judea, and saying, and saying, repent ye, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is for at the hand. kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this he is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah. This is him that was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Saying, saying the voice of the one crying the in the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of Prepare the Lord. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Every man of God is a voice that must cry out in this same time. You must cry the gay sin. Remember the young prophets from Judah. How he cried against the altar and the wickedness of Jeroboam. Have you forget? How he cried a young prophet that was used by God. My first time when I read about that young prophet in the Bible. So anointed. God gave him instruction. I'm talking about armies of the gospel. God gave the young prophet an instruction. You will go, you will cry against the altar because what kind of wickedness is going on on that altar? And that altar is supposed to be the altar of the Lord, but they were using it for wickedness. And God sent this young prophet. You see, when you get the cry against the altar, and the young prophet go there and cry against that altar, and the altar tore into two, and the king Jeroboam. Say no, not why when I am here. He rushed the prophet, was about to slap the prophet. The hand dried up like a dry fire wound. There is power. Don't play with a prophet. 
dried up. And the king cried out, restore my hand back. And the prophet prayed, the hand were restored. The prophet demonstrated power in that city. There was another old prophet. Let's not say old prophet. He can no longer see. God is not even interested in his life. He has already lost his ministry. He was looking for who to use to subscribe. At all, he refused to come to the crusade. Where these young prophets were demonstrating the power of God. His own children, the mass children, came to the crusade. They saw the real power. You know those kind of people that we sit at the back of crusade. They'll say, God, they use this man. My father just did. They know who they see again. Nothing can do. To even pray fast, no problem. Then these children of this old prophet went back home and tell their father, <laughs> Daddy, there is a way God will use you before. And now you are empty. And when you hear God using another person, you'll be angry. You'll be intimidated. Why not me? Why must it be here? God used me. God fair used me before. <laughs> now, old story. Don't tell her God fair used you before. Let it continue using you. They got home and shared the story with their father. That there is this young prophet. Daddy, sit down. Let me tell you something. You think you get ministry. You don't get ministry. We would suspect ministry you don't get. There is a way your children and your wife will talk to you. You will start crying. God, where did I go wrong? You don't get ministry. Now, that could say it. Ah, it was tough today, daddy. The new prophet demonstrate power. All that tore into pieces. The king, that king, that tough king was about to slap his hand right up. I see king begging, crying. The whole president begging, crying. In my presence, I saw it that day. The man said, uh -huh. Who is that young prophet that I did not know? He said, He came from Judah. Where the young prophet made the mistake? When God said him, He said, The same road you pass as you were coming, as you are going back, don't pass that same road. Pass on that road. God gave that message to him for his own personal consultation. He now exposed it in the crusade. Those young men took it and told their father, and where is the prophet now? He has gone. He said, God said to him that he should not pass the same road that he passed before. And he should not greet anybody. He should not even stay in anybody's house. Once he finished the crusade, he should go back. He exposed everything to them. Thinking that he was talking to human beings. <laughs> there are Satan in human form. They wear coats also. As you are talking, they are watching you. They want you to tell them the secret of your power. Like Samson tell Delilah. And Delilah makes Samson to sleep on her what? Lap. Because Delilah lap is a baby saloon. <laughs> Professional Baba. Bab Samson said. Samson wake up and discover God had left him. May you not tell <laughs> some secret to your enemy. That is why there are some things God will show to me. If I come, God will say, if I want to say, say shh, this one now for your own person. Keep it inside. Don't tell anybody. Tell them every other thing. But this one, keep it. You know, sometimes, most of the time, the reason why so many of you, you fall into trap, you are telling your enemy. What you are planning. Do you think it's everybody that is happy? That you are succeeding? It's not everybody that is happy. Some man against it. Why some are rejoicing? Oh God that bless this man, bless me. All you know, you want to do wedding. Oh my friend Tracy. Oh finally, finally. Say, a guy just came from abroad. He want to marry me, want to pay diary. And we'll be traveling together. As you, he said, turn, turn around. He, she go tell me, turn around. Immediately you turn around. He goes, me, I not marry you. The one man. <laughs> Let us see. Come pass, make I see. And now your worst enemy, now you even choose to become your chief bridesmaid. 
sometimes wait till I see the YouTube bride me do me I never know in not the Bible I say not the Bible all those people when they say from they dance follow you dance go back down the money when it is so suit for them you not go go you and start life after all of the dance finish they will carry some pack of food very soon for this child, I'm going to do wedding on Sunday. Because Sunday, everybody they cook for house. Eh, eh, eh. My father, my father, I don't have money to do wedding. I don't have money to do wedding. I don't have money. I want to marry. And you are bringing budget of 30 million. And you don't have money. <laughs> Who you want computer for yet? Me? Now me born you. I be your spiritual father, <laughs> not be your biological father. <laughs> Wait till your father, your own father, dodge. You want to give me? <laughs> Make a career. You are joking. You say no. You need. I need to buy a shabby. I need to buy this. And you see my coat, uh, the suit I will wear. The suit I will wear. Hello, it's 500,000. You try. You not see the one when I they wear. <laughs> you try. Listen. If you don't have money to do wedding, do it according to your size. Who come your wedding? Who eat? Go say no chop. I don't feel weakness enough. That way they are not chop at all. And when you come to watch the video, you see say nine choppers. But this place is saying no chop now. Oh, I, I, I must wear suit. I must wear suit. When your papa marry your mama, he wear suit. But they burn you. If you don't have money now to do it big, go and buy coat. There is suit. There is coat. There is parasuit. There is record. You wear it. So far you marry. Once you don't marry, snap. Just pay the diary. Let them pray for you. If you come marry, God come bless you in future. Then you will look at that and you say, that was me before. This is me today. Then you can now rebuy wedding gum. You will even buy your own, give to your wife, buy your own suit. Every day now wedding. You say, My wife stand there. We want to wed now. Then you will snap and put it side by side with that one. And say, That was me before. Then this is me today. It becomes a testimony. You want to borrow money to do wedding. To feed those are <laughs> those that have not eaten for three days. They hear you are doing wedding, they came. And they finish eating. They cut ten ten nera. Ten ten nera. Spray it. That is hundred nera. And in order to spray and one so it go dance, twenty thousand dance, it go come again. <laughs> I see one man one day. <laughs> he go borrow money to do wedding. And suddenly, all the friends that he invite, they were spraying tentenera. The man provoke. <laughs> he pull his suit. See fight. What happened? He said, why are they going to spray tentenera? And they are eating. Did you? <laughs> Did you know how much I use to prepare this wedding? The fiancé were coming to my said, don't come in. They are. <laughs> are you the one that will pay the money? <laughs> BP is rising. Why people are dancing, eating your food, your, your own BP? Can't you see that women, they are always happy more than men in the, in the wedding ground? The woman will just be doing that because they don't get problem now. As far as concerned, don't leave it, Papa. Her problem, don't join your own. He go to the dance. Go to the dance. You can't see the man. Go to the dance. Study. Go to look one place. 
You know what he go to look? Huh? You know what he go to look? He's calculating the money and the interest. And so the devil say, you don't enter. I say, blood of Jesus. <laughs> That's not my message. Let me, let me go to my message. Put your hands together for Jesus. They're your prophets. They're your prophets. Told all the things that God have shared with him. These young men came to relate to their father. He said, where is him now? They said, he had passed the other road. The father says, sand on my ass. He ran after the young prophet. Run after the young prophet. Do you know what also? The young prophet got to a spot under a tree. Come down from his own horse and sat down. Start taking fresh air. Oh, they could say we're tough today. Let me rest more. Let me rest more. The evil prophet met him. After you have finished, could say, Let me go to Dubai and rest. In the process of resting, if you don't choose some place where you rest, they will rest you there. Be careful. It is good to rest, but choose where you rest so that they will not arrest you there. So that they will not rest you in peace there. Immediately the old prophet came and said, are you the new prophet? He said, yes. He said, thus say the Lord. I am a prophet too. The Lord has spoken to me that you should come to my house and eat. The young prophet said, the Lord said I should not eat. He said, I am a prophet. I'm speaking to you now. Don't say it, the Lord. The Lord said you have tried in this program. Come to my house and rest. The young prophet said, ah, old prophet, talk it to him. Why did he not inquire from the Lord? Are you the one that told him? You know, sometimes, he said, oh, he has been in ministry before me. I need to learn from him. It's a problem too. Because some people, God have also left them. But they will not tell you that God have left them. They know that God have left them. They won't tell you. Why would they tell you? If they tell you, 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 won't, you won't go there now. Then the young prophet turned and followed him. They got up. He killed the best animal. Prepared food as they were eating on the dining table together. The same old prophet that said God spoke to him. He said, Thus say the Lord again. I send you an errand and I warn you. You disobey me. For this reason. You will not get home. You will die. The young prophet burst into tears. Sir. You said the Lord sent you. He said. If I ask you the Lord sent me. Why did you not ask the Lord who sent you? The last food he was cutting. Fall from his mouth. Death has come now. He walk away with sorrow. As the young prophet were going, a lion came out from the bush, drag him down, kill him, and leave the horse. The horse were standing before his master, dead. Was supposed to die first. Lion supposed to attack the animal first. But kill the man, leave the horse. Because the horse did not do anything. It's just a driver. May you not go to a crusade that will take your life. May you not enter a place where they will dry your anointing. Can I hear that? Amen. May you not enter a place where they will dry your anointing. He 
died. He died cheaply. And as people were passing that road, ah, the people who know how the man of God demonstrate power in the Kusi, they met him on the ground. They cried to the city. The young prophet is dead though. I believe that king will be happy now. I say, hand up, catch up. Jeroboam will be happy. The old prophet sandal his ass and go to the same spot and pick him. Brought the corpse to his own house and bury him in his own house and tell his children, when I die, bury me beside him. May you know <laughs> hey, that is a covenant. When I die, bury me beside him. I believe that young prophet will regret when he gets to the presence of God. May I pray for you. Every death sentence hanging over your head over your teacher's head. In the name of Jesus, it is aborted. Anyone hearing the sound of my voice on the air, on the Zoom, on the Facebook, on the YouTube, anywhere you are watching me, right inside the church here, that the enemy has vowed that they will never give you rest. As you say amen, you are delivered from the hand of your enemy. You are delivered from the hand of your enemy. You are delivered from the hand of your enemy. Shout amen. Have your seats. Armies of the gospel. There shall be no lost in this house. If I be a man of God, there should be no loss. Whether the daughter have given up on you, there shall be no loss. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no loss. Whether by accident, there shall be no loss. Whether they have already marked you in your family, there shall be no loss. You will not lose your children, you will not lose your wife, you will not lose your husband. Shut him your seat. Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Tonight, tonight, as we own the candle, your destiny will be lighting up. Jesus. In the first place where we read, the spirit of the Lord took Ezekiel straight to the valley and the valley was full of dry bones. That is ministry. That is ministry. Because why? Maybe I don't want to hear that pastor is sick. Pastor can be sick and still yet maybe we can pray for me that day. You say, even last time I could not say, pray for me. Oh. That one not consign me. Pray for me. <laughs> they believe that pastor cannot be sick. It's a lie. Pastor can be sick. But our sickness is not like other sickness. The only sickness we can be tired. One day I finish all night. You know, I used to do all night. I will start 6 p.m. in the evening. Then I will close 10 a.m. in the morning. One day I finish. I was doing it for years because I love all night. Those members here, you know me now. Nine 
9 a.m. in the morning, we are still praying. People who they pass, they go walk. What do they do? All night. One day, and when I finish that sign of all night, people will queue up. I used to do counseling there. Queue up, long queue, they want to see me. One day I finish all night, I sat in the office. I said, next. <laughs> I sat down there. The woman were talking. Whether or not person they talk, me, I even know. <laughs> you know, there is a way your eye will open, but you are sleeping. I was looking at the woman too. I don't know what to tell her. He said, Pastor, Apostle, I know God is using my problem now. Inside me, what I was saying before, after the old night, you still get this kind of problem. <laughs> I was looking at the woman. Later, I said, Apostle, I said, I did hear you. <laughs> I did hear you. I did hear you. Go on. I know they hear. I know they hear. Can, can, can. I know they hear. Everything is saying. As I was praying, he's talking about sickness. I was praying for financial breakthrough. Now they come and say, "This is my daughter." And now he gets up by herself. He come they go. I said, "This is what you're supposed to have done from the beginning." <laughs> you want to kill me? <laughs> she walk away. And I said, next. <laughs> that one came. He was talking. Gang, gang, gang. I don't talk. He said, Daddy, they hear me. I said, I did hear. He said, This is what we are going through in our family. There is no progress. I said, Now every family. <laughs> and then he come to say, I don't tire. Now he get up. He said, Daddy, go rest. I say, you, you talk and wear. Go. Next. Make you not say, I don't cancel you. Today, you go cancel yourself. Now you sit down there. Say, daddy, my problem. If they pour your children a picture for grace, say, see this one now? Now so, so smoke. Now they smoke. Now say, now so the bill everywhere. <laughs> He said, this one, this one, uh, he go drink, drink. You call they beat me for us. Now so, now so that they beat their papa. Now woman, they taught her. I said, now so that they beat their papa. Continue. He said, daddy, Bill, I said, don't tie. I said, you know. He packed the picture. And he left. I said, next. Don't be canceling, you come. You go see cancel it today. You will be the one that will cancel me to go and rest. Since you not see the, you know they use your sense. When this body tire, rest. Pastor, not the rest. It's true. Pastor, not the rest. It will affect your ministry. Rest. Once it is time to sleep, sleep. Sleep. They're not the key person put. Sleep. You they pray, you they pray. You know there's a prayer you'll be praying. When you are so much tired, you'll be praying. Suddenly you'll be saying another oh, thing. Mm -hmm. Your wife will say, Daddy, what do they talk? He said, I don't tire. He said, Your wife will not tire. If you don't tire, you don't go to sleep. You don't go to sleep. You want to solve the whole world problem. Then you will come relax. Immediately you sleep, your body will relax. Then you'll be refreshed. You are running from one mountain to another. If you die, remember, will go to that church. Pastor. Or not that message. Rest. What did I say? Eat good food. Not uh, 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 okay. Make I not go talk on that because I was there before, so that you not go say God don't bless you now. Now you come there say may we eat that kind of food. Where I go see money when I will take buyer. Eat good food. Eat what? At least, at least, eat good food. You drink curry in the morning, in the afternoon. Say, so I don't like curry. Give me another curry. Yes, it's good to drink curry. I drink curry, but not 
Just you drink Gary in the morning, the afternoon. Bring out that Gary. I like her. You, <laughs> you soak her again. You drink. Do you know when you, now, you are not preaching, there is a way your, your eye will not be clear again. You will say, now whom are they there? Because Gary don't cover your eye now. Say, Osha, who did that? Say, now, man. Say, don't be like woman. Osha, go say, suffer, drink, Gary. You don't go here. Rest! Eat! Rest when you need it. Fast when it is time to fast. Don't go and die of stomach ulcer. Amen? Amen. Wisdom is here to. What did I say? Because people have preached this gospel before you. Then too, they use wisdom. You just leave one crusade, you jump right on another one. You leave one, you jump on another. See, anointing is flowing. If you die, anointing will leave. You will look for another person to enter. Because why? The Spirit of God needs your body to function. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? Jam your hands together for Jesus. You need rest. Rest! What did I say? Rest. Rest. It's good. It's good. Rest. But don't over rest. Because you can over rest. When you're supposed to wake up, you have rest so for how many hours? You are sitting. Even your wife is not encouraging you. Man of God, stand up. Man. Pray now. Say, leave me. Leave me. This problem now, I don't know where it's coming from. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Just leave me. Just leave me. I did meditate. Just leave me. Leave me. Your wife said, no. Pray. If you want to pray, go pray. You get problem with God. I don't get problem. I'm just thinking about my life. The way my life is going now, me too. I don't even understand. You may be in that condition now. May the God of Sinai go rescue you. Put your hands together for Jesus. The valley was full of bones. And the Lord said to Ezekiel, Prophet Sai. Earlier today, I was dealing with serpent. I'm seeing a lady there. You saw a snake, a very big snake, open her mouth widely. The snake were pursuing you, pursuing you, pursuing you. And suddenly you wake up. Come out quickly. Come out. Be fast. You raise me up so that I can stand. Snake will pursue you. Yes, be snake. Yes, sir. Okay, go on. And I wake up. And you wake up. Yes, sir. Where's your husband? He's at home. There is a battle. Yes, sir. Where are your children? I have one son. Twelve years now. Twelve years. Yes, sir. That serpent is the one swallowing your children. Yes, sir. Today. After today, 
This is 12 years now. Yes, sir. You could not have any other one. Yes, the yoke break now. Amen. If you are saying amen with her, you will also receive your own deliverance. to Ezekiel, professor. Finally, finally. He's out. Look at it. The scripture attached to it. See that? Look at it. You see. You see. If it is open, it's not from us. I think this one now. Have a sea. You are the one that will break the sea. Look at it. For this one to be prepared for you like this. That means something, something important is inside. <laughs> huh? Iron Bender. You don't give another name. <laughs> uh, who will receive this one now? Who will be the first person that will receive this thing? Have you been seeing the miracles? I know your faith I have raised you. Say, the day I get this. From which country? Huh? USA. From USA. Yes. Come. Oh yeah. You will break the sea. Just read. Just the first scripture. That you break the sea. You will break the sea. Can we all read the scripture together? Put it on the on the screen. You will break the sea. Huh? then you will use it to pray for yourself. Yes. Then demon will manifest. You are the one that will spray it. Then we we'll see what will happen to you, yourself. <laughs> yes, practical. I like practical. My ministry is full of practical. And I like practical. Let us read the scripture. It's there. Can you... You don't have it there? Can you place it there? Okay. Everybody read it. One, two, go. Psalm 51 verse 1 and 2. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy lovely kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercy, blot out my transgression. Wash me tolerate from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Oh, yeah, take. Break it. Break the sea by yourself. See the demon. See the demon. 
See the demon. See the demon. See the demon. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You see? Who are you? What have you done to her? You see? Face don't change. He used it by herself. That means you can deliver yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the demon. Who are you? What have you done to her? To her life and to her family. Huh? is what we call impartation. God can use an ordinary man to pray on water and it becomes anointed. Mm. Look at it now. Mm. What have you done to her? Mm. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? It's a very strong demon. What have you done to her? Huh? What are you doing inside her? Huh? What are you doing inside her body? raise up your hand, I will just call you. Everybody don't drop their hand now. <laughs> because this one arrests me. What have you done to her? What is your assignment in her body? Are you a deaf and dumb demon? You deaf and dumb demon. Speak. <clears throat> Speak. I have destroyed her family. I was a deaf and dumb demon. And I just know. May you know. <laughs> what have you done to her? And to her family? What do you want me to do? Why are you, why are you prostrating me? Who, who are you? What do you want to know? That is a, a man living inside a woman. Why are you telling them? Why am I telling them? Yes. I know you. I know you know me. But they don't know me. They don't know you? Yes. That, is, that is why I'm I am teaching them now so that your secret things, you devil, can be revealed. Tonight, power will rob your life. I know you love seeing things like this because it helps you to know that Jesus is alive. He's ready to fight. So that you raise up my hand. Cameraman, chief to this one and uh, Jackie Shaw. You may think that he's more like that. If, if, if that blue meets you, another problem. 
the demon will donate things in your body because it's not an ordinary blow. It's better somebody that is that is okay blow you than somebody possessed with demon blow you. If he blow you, he must leave one knee in your body. And at that knee, you will come they look for scan. Scan not go fit the knee. Okay, we must bring pastor over today. Are you a pastor? Raising up your hand. Are you a pastor? Or you come? Uh, he was born to raise up his hand. Come. He does set. Pastor who? Kofi. All right. I give him mic. Give Kofi mic. Let us see. Anointing water just exposed that demon in her body. Anointing water. If water can be anointed, why can't a man of God carry power? If God was pleased to anoint water, let us see now. A man of God. Oh yeah. Stretch your hand, Kofi. Let us see. Chimo, in the name of Jesus, I command you, I command you, get out. Manifest yourself. Go! Kofi? Daddy. <laughs> Come wait till I see now. <laughs> May I not go see another to you? It don't go happen, Daddy. Huh? It not go happen. Oh yeah, speak to the demon. Let us know what the demon will say. Oh yeah. Oh you demon, hear the voice of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Stop I... wasting your time. You don't have power to fight me. Let him push away the apostle. Let him go far away from that pump. Then you follow me. Come. If you know you are a true man of God, come. I am in front of you. Come. Look at me. No, say you are in front of me. Come. Now, come. Jesus, now the day front of Come. You see why many of you need to learn very come. well. Demon, not they see me anytime when I do deliverance. Come. Now, Jesus, now they see you. If they see you, come. you say they in front. You just said that they see me. They are not seeing me. They are seeing the man on the cross. You say you're there in front. Hmm. <laughs> Ministry not be not be this thing. Okay, daddy. Why did he did he say you should leave my I say why did you say you should leave my side and come to the front? You ask. Why do you see that you leave you to come to your front? He has power. He has mighty power. Who has the power? Who has the mighty power? I can't say his name. His name. Ah, I can't say. Where I come from, we don't say his name. Because it destroys our kingdom. But I know he has power. More than power. That proportion of power. That is a man talking to Yes, daddy. Did you know? Yes, daddy. Did you see want to continue? Yes, I will continue, daddy. Huh? I will continue, daddy. Oh, stop. Oh. You will die, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I just ask him 
to move, to shift just a bit. And let me fight you. You say you are a pastor. You preach. But let me not expose you now. Let me just shut up. Kofi, daddy. Do you want to continue? I want to continue, daddy. <laughs> you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. I'll expose you. Expose me. Go I'll ahead. expose you. Go ahead. Expose me. Kofi, daddy. <laughs> My father. Kofi. Daddy. <laughs> Kofi. Daddy. You still want to continue? Daddy, I will continue. <laughs> Pastors, make it continue. Daddy, I will continue. Huh? Pastor, make it continue. Because he never asked for something. Which he is supposed to ask for, Daddy, impart me. Because the demon have just tell you. We read it in the Bible. Everybody open Acts of the Apostle chapter 19. Acts of the Apostle chapter what? 19. Verse 11 to 13. Put mic and let somebody read. Wait, let them put mic because this is a practical. This minister conference, this is how God said we should do it. It's a practical and it's very good like this. Go on. Acts chapter 19 and verse 11. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Be fast. So that from his body we are brought unto the sick handkerchief of aprons. That and is this anointing water now that we brought. And handkerchief and apron from the body of Paul. Go on. And the disease departed from them. And the evil spirit went out of them. It is by Bolica. In the days of Paul, Paul used handkerchief. But in my day now, it's water. Go on. Verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews. When people discover that Paul just handkerchief delivering people, demons start crying out. They too, they say, we are going to do the same. Go on. Exorcist mm -hmm. took upon them to come over them which had evil spirits to the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Say, we are joined by Jesus whom Paul preached. Mm -hmm. and, the, and there we are seven sons of Sceva, mm -hmm. a Jew and chief of the prince, which did so. Mm -hmm. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, mm -hmm. and Paul I know, but who are ye? Go on. Verse 16. And the man in whom the evil spirit was lit on, leap on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Hmm. They what? They fled out of that house naked and wounded. They what? Kofi? Read that place again. Read it loud, 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 loud. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Kofi, you still want to continue? Daddy, I'll ask for impartation, so I'll go ahead. No, don't impart him, oh. Don't impart him, oh. He said he's a man of God. Just shift. Let me show him. Just a little bit. Let me show him. Maybe he might work for God. Truly. But let me just show him just a little bit. Small, small. But don't impart him now. Shift, 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 shift. Let, Let me us show read Mark chapter 5, verse 1 down. Everybody all over the world, a lot of people are watching now. Thousands of people are watching. I want you to listen because we are in the last days. 
And this is the kind of ministry we need in these last days. Let somebody read with a loud voice. Wait, hold the mic. And they came over onto the other side of the sea. Where are you reading from? Mark 5. Okay, verse 1. Yes, verse 1. Go on. Into the country of the gatherings. Louder. And when he was come out of the sheep, mm -hmm. immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, mm -hmm. and no man could bind him. No, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Mm -hmm. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice, and said, What have I to do with thee? Jesus, thou son of the most high God, I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. Who begged Jesus? How did he know that it was Jesus? Power. How did he know that it was Jesus? Power. Let's say power. Go on. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Okay. Mark chapter 1, verse 21 to 25. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue mm -hmm. and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. Mm -hmm. And he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the ah, Holy One. This is what I want you to know. I know you. If Jesus were fake, the evil spirit could have said it. Kofi, you still want to continue? Yes, Daddy. Okay, give him mic. We are here. You want to continue? Daddy, please, you will first impart me first. No, we're not going to impart now. You want to continue. Want to continue? Yes. We go in part. After you deliver, we will come do a partition. No, Daddy. Impart huh? me first. Okay. And you say you are a pastor? Are you seriously? He you go you, in front and preach. He asks you a question. But your heart is full of hatred. <laughs> you hear that? He said he's a pastor, but he have hatred in his heart. What we have been preaching, love your neighbor. Because you can be standing. Because your neighbor is making progress. More than you. You just hate him for no reason. Evil spirits know. Because why? They too, they walk in hatred. They don't walk in love. And they know they are kind. You hear what he said now? He said your heart is full of hatred. That is why you are here. Because... This is let love live. Let love flow in your heart starting from today. Now, now you know your weakness now. Thank God you have know your weakness now. Start loving. Start releasing people in your heart. When people sin against you, tell them, always forgive. Clear your heart. Let go of offense. Tim Joshua will always say, let go of offense. Offense is a hindrance to our prayer. But people don't understand. He just exposed it now. Kofi? Kofi? Daddy. Still want to continue? No. Huh? 
I hear you. Daddy, huh? I will pray for mercy, then I will continue. It is too late. You are already here. So fight me first. And then maybe after, when I'm done fighting you, mm, I might ask him to impact you. But for now, I want him to shift a little bit. Just shift. I know you have power. You have mighty power. When I talk about power, it's a double portion of power. Even mm, that name, I don't want to say it. But which name? Let me just say it. So, other people, we emulate what you carry. But, I changed my mind. Is it by force to say? <laughs> Kofi, you want to continue? Because the way you they look at, you be like, say, you want to do the deliver and reach grand. You want to continue? Kofi, go sit down first. Ah! Don't let him to go sit down. Just let him, just tell him to stand. And he says he's a man of God. Let's see his power. If he's really truly working for God, let me see his power. Because I already know him. But he doesn't know me. I know him. But he doesn't know me. Hmm. Who created him? He made him a great man. But there's only one weakness he has. Hmm. And forgiveness. Pastor. Coffee. <laughs> it don't mark you. Coffee, come this side. We need to. May I give and sit for another side so that may I remember me for this conference? Make I pray for him before he go. Because they don't already mark him. Kofi. <laughs> you can't day has now Kofi. Now you can't day here. <laughs> Say, now minister conference, I be go. <laughs> Kofi, where did you come from? Ah. Uh, I come from Togo. Togo. Well, hey, I say Nigeria people know the beer that name. <laughs> I begin to think, says, where they can see Kofi? Okay, give him another chair then. Thank God now, you have known your weakness. He did not say that you are a fornicator. He said you have one weakness, unforgiveness. Put it, eh? There is a man of God in this uh, Nigeria. Ah. So I follow the man of God. After I follow the man of God, there is a, a, a man of God for another side called me for pussy. So Don't mention sure any man's name. Just yes, I will not mention sure any, any man's name. So my dad, you know, I'm going to program from in place. So where the man of God come from, he could say to call me to come. I go there. After I go there, after I preach, I finish, I do what God told me. And the one I stay with before. Now he gets angry. There are two of them. You say you went to a man of God, right? For crusade. Me, I already know you already. You say one tell you. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Kofi, you don't enter. <laughs> When I tell you people every day, I say, leave sin. I know what this thing is all about. I don't want to be doing deliverance one day and be disgraced. That is why I run from sin. Because I know the whole world is watching. Kofi? Don't call you again. Kofi? You want me to tell you everything? Yes. Okay. 
let me tell you what happened. So, that man who invited you for crusade, you went there. You say you're a man of God. Before you go anywhere, ask God first. If you don't ask him, not everyone that you see is a pastor. He's preaching the word of God. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Now don't let less it to be. One! It's just the word God. Not one, not everybody. Say God. Works for God, though. Even your Bible says it to all now. Does it not say it? People will act like me. Just an umbrella to say I'm a pastor. That title you guys call pastor, do you know the meaning of a pastor? Or a bishop? Just carry yourself pastor. Pastor John. Pastor Mike. Pastor Kofi. <laughs> Why? Yo. The one that you say you work for, he does not know you. He does not know you. He didn't call you. He has to call you first before you work for him. But other people now, nowadays, eh? you go to school, you know just a little knowledge of reading and understanding. Just a little. <laughs> tiny, tiny. Even it, it's not even part of my thing. <laughs> you know, I always tell you people, it's not going to Bible school that makes you a man of God. Now, now, devil, don't he, he said there are some of you God have not even called you, and that is why you are using the work to look for money because you were not called. If you were called, you will have passion for the work, not money. You guys need to emulate him. You watch him on Facebook, on his TV channel. His name is, ah, that name is very strong. I don't want to say it, it will destroy my kingdom. It's already destroying it. Again, if I say it, it will destroy it more. Why now? Ah, let me just say it. His name is Apostle. Prince. He got a body. Wait. You see Elijah in the Bible, right? Elijah had power to send fire. And I know earlier on, he said that when he got to heaven, the first person he will go to, Elijah, to ask him how did he send fire? You know what the meaning of that fire? Even nobody in this world knows the meaning of that fire. Only his master. And he too is so eager to know the meaning of that fire. But no worry. I know his master loves him so much. He will tell him soon, soon, soon. Not far away. He will tell you soon, soon, soon. Just soon, soon you will know. And you too, you'll have that power. But I know you have double portion. But this one is going to be 10 times of your double portion. Everybody don't freeze now. Now, now, minutes we start. When you go back now, you will know where you are. You will know where you go. Not everybody who we'll just invite you, you go. And that is where your problem started from now. Is that not where your problem started from? Yes, daddy. Coffee? Mm -hmm. Coffee? Let me ask you one question. Do you still want to know where your problem starts? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. From now on, if you know your problem, Will you be humble? Yes, I will be humble. 
Will you stay at your place? Don't go anywhere. Yeah. I know he called you in your mother's womb. He put a shiny star. But the only one problem, eh? Hatred. But that hatred comes from somewhere. It's not just like that. From your from your family side. But I won't say if it's mother or father. I don't want you to, from here to go and then start to bump, 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 bump them. Foundation. Every man of God must find foundation. Foundation get power. If you don't stop, what stop your father? If your father marry plenty wife. You say, I'll be bishop, I'll be pastor, I don't go marry, I will marry one wife. That, because you don't talk, I don't go make her more. Even people will like to even marry you. They'll say, don't pay anything, I will take care of you. You'll be saying, I, I don't need say, no problem, I will pay the bill. Yes, now, a foundation, you will know that the foundation is pursuing you. Now there you go know say this thing not normal. You know some young men when they just see guests surrounded there you go say I find no. You not find. Ask your papa with the killer. You say ah any guy if I just move guy will just guests surround me. Guests surround me they then they let me rest now they would they buy me clothes. No it's not because you are handsome. It's what is killing people. That thing has been running your family. It's a spirit that women must stop them. And not just uh, normal women that carry demon. Don't you know anointing is like a honey? Wherever there is honey, it's sent with gather. God has called you, have given you grace. But discipline is from you. You must discipline yourself. God will not help you in discipline. You are the one that will help yourself. You are the one that will make up your mind, I won't do this thing. And you will stand by it. He said it's, uh, it's, it's anger and bitterness. You see now why you need to release people from your heart. Love is the most powerful weapon. Satan can't stand love. He's telling you what they know. Because Satan know you. Hear what he said to Jesus. Somebody may say, ah. Is it not prophesying? She's not prophesying. Demon said, we know you, who you are. Jesus of Nazareth. Have you come to destroy us? We read it just now. Jesus said, shut up. Because it, Jesus have not revealed to people who he is. But the demon want to reveal it before. Jesus said, shut up. They know you. Thank God you are here. You'll be delivered. Mm. Kofi will be delivered. Because he now, he need deliverance. To be able to forgive, you need deliverance. That means, if those things have not left his heart, no matter we lay hand on him, to receive impartation. Many of you now begin to know what is your weakness now. Begin to clear your mind. Because a new wine cannot be put in an old bottle. It will not be preserved. That is why so many people, they go for a program. They say return back, problem multiply. And you are asking questions, but you are the problem. God, we are moving, touching people. But you, you have not put yourself. It's a lesson for everybody. I know the whole world, so many people are watching. Kofi, it shock you. It shock you. No. Huh? Yeah. It shock you. Yeah. Let us call another man of God. Out. <laughs> huh? One right. Thank God for this kind of minister conference. 
I am giving my. What is your name? My name is Prophet Emmanuel. Prophet Emmanuel. Oh yeah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I say, you people calling yourself pastors, prophets. I rebook you, you strong man. You know what? Stop rebuking me. Stop rebuking me. Stop. Stop. Under the grace of no, God. No, don't go house. there. Don't go there. Just say, under your grace. <laughs> <laughs> Clap for Jesus. He says he should not go there. He should use his own grace to do this one. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I understand spiritual hierarchy. I hide myself under this grace. I said. And I rebook you. Hold on. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are you trying me. Man. You are trying me. I'll fight you right now. You will fall down. Oh. You strong man. I in command you in the name of Jesus. The let son of the you, living God. Let me ask you. That name you are calling Jesus. Is it coming from your heart exactly? It's just the name. Oh. It's not coming out from your heart. Oh. That's what I said. Don't say under his. Thank you, Jesus. His grace. Thank you, Jesus. His grace. Say under your grace. Say your prophet is. Yeah? Your pastor. Apostle you are pro Prince is my spiritual father. Ah. Uh -uh. He's your spiritual father. Under his grace. Okay, hold on. I speak to you right now. S hold on, let me talk to you. Ah, stop provoking me. <laughs> Say, may you hold on. Who are you in this body? Speak out. Ah, ah, let me talk to you now. Don't talk to me. I don't want to hear you. Who are you in this body? Oh, you don't want to hear me. Who are you in this body? Let in me the show mighty you now. name of Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the mighty name of Jesus I burn you with fire I burn you with fire in the mighty name of Jesus the grace of God in this house the fire of God in this house I set you on that fire now let me talk to you I set you on fire shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up what do you have to say Says quickly, in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, shut up. Oh. You shut up too. <laughs> you still want to know your problem, or you want to continue? I don't need you to tell me anything. <laughs> you don't want to know. Problem deal. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, ah. Let the God of Apostle Prince. I said, you said you are a prophet as him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you shut up first? Thank you, Lord. Shut up. Let me talk to you. Thank you, Jesus. You say you are a prophet. Mighty name of Jesus. I set you on fire. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, did you touch me? Why did you touch me? What is me? wrong with my touch? There's nothing wrong with your touch. The touch is not there. There's nothing wrong with your touch. Should I touch you again? Touch me. Let me see. Thank you, Jesus. Not touch you. Not touch. <laughs> not touch. Touch me. I know why I say you should not touch. Touch me. Let me see. Because there are some touch. Then you have collect problem to yourself. Touch me. Even the Bible warned us we should not lay hand on people sudden. I know why. I know why now I understand now why God said I should be doing it like this is all this day. We have never done it like this before. Then we will not know where you are lacking. Because so many of you I know that you said I want this man to be my spiritual father but I don't have access to him and I cannot somebody cannot be my spiritual father that, that I have no access to. And it has been the problem of so many. They say, oh, I don't have access to him. I cannot talk to him. I cannot talk to him. You may not be able to talk to a man 
and you still connect and you are flowing. I'm telling you, because so many men of God that have spiritual soul, it's not everybody they can talk to. We reserve this class to November. We must go back to the elementary message. Love your neighbor as yourself. Salvation. Love your neighbor as yourself. Remove bitterness. We must not begin to coach Greek because we are not the one who write Greek. We must go back to the normal message which we neglected but is the foundation of the early church. They were all in one accord, walking in love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Don't worry. I know why you are here. You'll be imparted. Don't worry. You will flow in your ministry. God will use you. Everything will be fine. Your light will get brighter. I will see you. You have a calling. You have a calling. I know you have a calling. Right? If time also permit, I will see you one on one. Thank this is your first time? This is my first you. time, sir. This is your first time. From where? From Abuja. From Abuja. Okay. I saw you in my dream. What did I tell you? He told me to keep watching Synagogue TV and I should come. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry, I'll see you. Let us, another pastor. Okay. Come. No, that one. There's one at the back. You are pastor who? Pastor Kenneth, oh, yeah. from a boy state. In boy state. You want to do deliverance? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah. Take back. Let us see. Father, forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> in Jesus' name, who are you, demon? You already do the mistake now. Before he called you in front over here, you could have gone before you come. You could have said, he called you. You came fast running, but your heart is empty. You could have said, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. Give me more love. This demon is very, very intelligent. He said you could have say it in your closet before you came out. Uh, you came running. Um, I, I, I they do deliver, but you I, evil I, don't, spirit. I don't learn more thing now. I don't learn more thing now. Are you learning? All these things happen in the Bible for our learning. The one that happened in the time of Paul that seven people were beaten up naked the bible recorded it for our learning if the bible were still written today this one would be written that kofi <laughs> you not say the book of Acts of the apostle chapter 8 verse 7 kofi was in the synagogue a minister conference and he encountered a demon <laughs> that told him to forgive then we read then I, the, who, whoever that is preaching that message we say forgive you can see what happened to Kofi <laughs> is it not true it could have happened that way for our own learning God do this I have never seen it like this before. We have been doing minister conference. We have never seen it like this before. This is the first time. And it's happened. One happened yesterday now. We saw it. And this is the other one. You still want to continue? Let me try again, sir. You want to try? No. Yes, sir. They know they try deliverance. Sir. Don't try. If you try, I'll finish you. It's natural. If you say you love your life, just drop that microphone and go back to your seat. 
No, all those things that the demon is saying, he mean it. Too. There are some people that just put stubbornness. Your wife is at home. They will just appear to your wife's bedroom and kill your wife. Then you will get to you will start crying. Don't you know there are people, pastor, pastor job, no be. You know, that's why when I see people criticizing pastor, I, I don't know what you see that make you to criticize them. Pastor work is not ordinary work. When somebody say, I am a pastor, forget people just use it for anyhow today. It was not like that in the Bible's day. When you say, I'm a prophet, eh? President, look for you, lead that look for you to consult you. What are we going to do? But today, people just carry pastor, they just insult them. And they go away with it. And truly, they go away with it, nothing happens. Because why? The people they are really insulted, they have disappointed God. Normally, you will insult a prophet. You will not, you will not spend five days before he will start reacting. He don't even need to curse you. When he's silent, he did not even say anything. You will not be able to sleep. Look at everybody who insulted TB Joshua. Look at their life. Did he say anything? He did not say anything. But look at their life. They later go to go and confess before they, their life start getting better. But there are other people they insult like that. Nothing happened. You want to try? See? Huh? Yes, sir. Coffee? Oh, now you coffee. Oh, baby, come now. Mezis and I. You're not your coffee. You want to know your truth as I told Mr. Pastor Coffee? Jesus wants her to be free. Stop saying that, Jesus, when you, it's not in your heart now. What are you doing in that body? That body is not your temple. I will leave you to cap right in Jesus, Jesus, but Jesus is not in you. Keep, keep saying Jesus. This is demon, ring demon. God bless you. Don't worry. I know where I, I will come in now. You have passed on? Came from where? From Cameroon. You want to drive? Come. <laughs> My father. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who are you? A word. About the way he went a word. Sorry about our wallet. A word. That is to say, everybody they talk, you can still come out. Make I just ignore you. Why are you going to sleep when you they pray? Hey! There is a lot of job in the body of Christ. You look at it. Those times you are using to gossip other people. Why you know they use the time till they run after Jesus? All to today, people they still said we don't understand this apostle pray. Why not they travel? Why not they travel? God don't they bless them. Why not they travel abroad? God said, I should not move. Every day I am on the mountain. He said, When the time comes, you will start moving. I will tell you. With the level that I am, by now, different country. Different country. Even people they don't even have this kind of grace, they travel every week. I'm here. Preparing. Still preparing. Because the mission is high. But I will remember my spiritual father. I've learned a lot from that man. It happened like this. When he was doing prayer line one day, he called some people out. I don't know whether if you are watching to come and do deliver. It also happened like this. 
the demon said, I will kill you now. He quickly had to collect Mike from the pastor and say, shift aside, shift aside, before another thing will happen. It happened. You still want to continue? I, I can't hear you. I need your help, sir. Huh? I need your help, sir. You need the help of Jesus, not my help. Yes, sir. You still want to continue? You have a church? A ministry? No, sir. You appear to me in the dream that's why I'm here. Huh? You appear to me in my dream that's why I'm here. I appear to you? Yes, sir. Did. What did I tell you? Uncountable time that you appeared to me almost about six times in my dream. Before you came, Prophet T.B. Joshua first spoke came to me. He appeared to me in the form of light. And when he appeared to me, he said, let me come and receive the mandate that he is going. That he has been distributing the mandate because, because he is almost, almost one year now. That he is going. That was before he died. That he is going. That he is giving the mandate. So when he appeared to me, I was going to go and receive the mandate. When I came close to him, I was unable because he was carrying a form of light that I could not behold the light. So he now disappeared. After that, You know why? You weren't able to go close to him because you were still, still. Yes, he appeared to you, but his grace was bigger than your head could carry. Say don't feel where the car. After you saw that dream, you also saw his son, his beloved son, Apostle Prince Ikaribore, in your dream. But you only see so, hmm. I, I think my mind, I won't say it. <laughs> Stand up. I want to try again. Let us use woman at this point in time. Not be only men who just receive this kind of cake. <laughs> Women come and also receive. There's a woman there. Your name? Sister Faith. Huh? Sister Faith. Sister Faith. You will demonstrate faith for us now. Huh? By the special grace. I give a mic. Only may just the receive stroke of cake. Thank no, you, <laughs> Jesus. Not be only we go receive this one. We may must collect from his side. Thank you, Jesus. Because there has been a power that has been from this session of the world that is greater than every other power which is the name Jesus Christ. And at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that he is the Lord. Jesus Christ said unto the disciple, he said, go into that city, lose the donkey, for the master is in need of it. I speak to you right now, by that mandate in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that Paul preaches. And I command you, that demon that has possessed you since when you were born, I command that power to go out now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go out by fire under the grace of my father, Apostle Prince Ikarabare, I command you that demon, get out now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Come back here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can't cross there because the angels of the Lord are standing by that door. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that apostle preach, preach I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Receive the fire now. Shut up. From the crown of your Shut head to the sole of your feet. I am not the one that is speaking but the king 
of kings is speaking through me. The you king of kings me, oh. that died on the cross of Calvary and he said it is finished. He said your pain is finished. You, that power that I possess this one, I command you up now by fire in Jesus' name. The fire of the Holy Ghost is upon you now. From the crown of your head to the sword of your feet, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I barricade this place through the grace of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And there is the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. From the crown of your head to the sword of your feet, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of God is upon you right now. The Bible says for this reason the Son of Man was made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. This is the work of the devil that the Lord have come to destroy. You have no power over Bible. that. Stop in the mighty Bible, name please. of Jesus Christ. Shut up. You have no power over this one. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command you out of this body by fire in Jesus name. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. When I walk to that side, it's not because you told me to come back. I came back. It's not you. Okay. It's him. That's I can. Glory back. be to God because he's a man I love. Uh -huh. You love him. Yes. But there is that one thing you lack. Everybody sing. We are all walking towards perfection. You have no right to judge me because Jesus Christ is the right judge. You devil, keep I quiet am not judging. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am not judging by yourself. You are the one, number one judger. You, you, you judge others. So. You are speaking with a demonic voice and I shut up that voice in the name of Jesus Christ. That power that speaks from you, I command it to shut up in Jesus' name. Under the grace of my father, Apostle Prince Ikarabori. And I command that power to go out of you now and you'll be a free person. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something, young lady. I want to hear. Shy. Shy. You are the number one judge. Oh, oh yes. Let me tell you. You are the number one judge. When you see other people progressing, you are not happy for them. I don't know about that. You know about it, but I don't know about it. I'm happy with everyone that progresses. Uh, uh, you're just saying it in your mouth just to ha make the congregation be happy now. But deep side, me, I deal with the spirit. The Lord is the one that knows the deep secret things of the man. Even God says, I also have powers. He gave me powers to rule this world. And he has given me power to trample upon serpent. And you are you a serpent see, and I bruise your head you in the see, name of Jesus. You can see devil Lucifer talking. Devil get power the power God gave to the devil, he did not collect it. Yes, he did not collect it. It's to teach us a lesson so that we know and run back to him. If the devil was not there, people will not know Jesus. It is a devil, know Jesus. The devil is doing his job. Because when the devil flogs you in your dream, you will run back to Jesus. If devil were not there, you know, the prophet will always say, our problem make us to know God. It is now we begin to realize that message. That your problem will make you to be close to God. Without problem, you will not know God. Look at it. You see now? People see what happened there now? The lady holding mic tried to dodge camera. He went to pass where Kofi denied Kofi shock. <laughs> Let me tell you what is happening. You don't know what is happening. Let me tell you spirituality. Those blow, those blow the demon. It's not this lady, no. 
those demons, those bloody demons were chewing on the air, has already met him. Fear have gripped him now. If he's not delivered today, he go home like that and sleep like that. They'll come and attack him. Because why? They have already marked him. You see the way he's shocked now. But he's in the church, but he's shocked. Because he now begins to realize. Uh -uh, what did just happen just now? What did happen just now? He's shocked. You know, they ask you today, he shocked you. You say, he not shocked you. Now he shocked you. <laughs> you, you, you are just quoting scripture. God bless you. You try. Uh, you try now. You're old now. You, uh, you try. You try. You'll be imparted. You'll be imparted. You will do the work of God. You'll be imparted. Huh? You try. Don't give up. Now you now know your weakness now. And know where to challenge that weakness. Our weakness is our strength. When you know your weakness, it will not be difficult. You will become strong. If you don't know your weakness, you are still just walking. You will be doing that thing. You will not even know that it's a problem. Things that will take people to hell it's not even the deep things that you think. It's the little, little thing that your neighbor that you refuse to love and you say you love Jesus. Jesus will say, you don't truly love me. If you love me, you could have loved your neighbor that you see face to face. The great man of God keep on preaching about love, love, forgiveness, offense, Offense. One day, demon will cry inside each other. They say, Don't preach that message again. Why are you telling them to forgive? Because that is our weapon to hold them. Forgiveness? Forgiveness has power. All your enemies that have been fighting you, just imagine if you are forgiven, then you release them from your mind. Just imagine how God will fight for you. Because you are holding them, that is why God is not fighting. Because God, you are already trying to do it by yourself. You have learned something today. Okay. This is anointing water who provoke the demon. Have your say. Thank you. This is anointing water that provoke the demon to manifest today. We use it as demonstration. stay from far. He will just spray it. Then you will see. The person will be, he will control the demon easily. If water can be anointed, what about you, pastor? I'm still asking you a question. Okay. Who will I call now? Let us even let us use a woman. Okay. Let me call the same sister. The same person that the demon refused to bow to now. So that we can now know. This is the anointing water. You ask God, forgive me. I repent of my sin. Then you stand here, you spread the anointing water, you ask the demon, who are you? Then let us say, collect my now. First of all, ask God to have mercy on you and use the anointing water on yourself. That you are forgiving others, you have released others in your heart. 
Father, Lord, thou son of David, have mercy on me according to your riches in mercy. Forgive my sins, for as many that I have heard in my heart have limits in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father, because you are the forgiver of sin. In Jesus' name. Use the anointing word for sin. Stand there now and spray it and command the demon. Let us see. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you, you demon, divide it. Who are you in this body? Who are you? Under the grace of my father, Apostle Prince Ikarabore, and I ask you once again, Who are you? in this body. Who are you in this body? At the count of seven, seven is the number of perfection. I command you to speak up. One, two, three, oh, four. Eight. I'll speak. Seven. I'll speak in Jesus' name. I'll speak. Shut up. I am the strong man. Hmm. Strong man from where? The father's house or from the mother's house? Hmm? Speak up. Or I increase the fire of my father upon you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The fire of my father I will release more upon mm -mm. you now. Don't, in don't, the name don't. of Jesus. I'll Christ. speak. I'll speak. I'll speak. Keep on speaking. I'll speak. I'll speak. In the name of Jesus. Speak. I'll speak. Uh -uh. I'll speak. Now, what just changed in the twinkle of an eye now? Huh? Huh? I can't hear you. Let's only one person answer. Huh? The mercy of God. The mercy of God. Thank you. Somebody say divine water. Not divine water. If the person who did the divine water has problem, it will not work. I have said this before. The mantle of Elisha never worked for Gehazi. That is why that scripture follow. Before you use it, take one day to fast. Lord, forgive me if I have done anything wrong. Before you use it, you will see your life will change. It's not the water that heals but the name behind it Jesus and you must know that man but if you are ignorant of what you are doing you are in the world you have never tasted Jesus somebody that have tasted Jesus and somebody that have not tasted Jesus at all is a different thing if you have come to Jesus before, you later backslide. Your own is different from the person who did not know Jesus at all. The one who did not know Jesus at all is better because he's ignorant of it. Backslide is not an excuse. Backslider that die in sin, they may go to hell. The one who did not even hear about Jesus that were ignorant of it may enter heaven. It's a mystery. Saul know what was wrong. God gave him a commandment. He still go there and do opposite. Did God not punish him for that? He punished him. But there are other people who did not know. They do it out of ignorance. Obedient is better than what? Sacrifice. Who they had touched the ark, he died. But obey did not maintain the ark. Bless. The same ark. That king one, bless another. The same God who blessed Jacob say, I hate his son. 
is a mystery. Just know your God. Those that do know their God, they shall be strong. We are all here together. After preaching, I know my mind. I did not know you. If you see, continue to begin to do what you think you were doing, I have already given you the message I supposed to give to you. Your own is to walk by that message and make something good out of it. Bible is written by some people that did not even know God because they attend school, they were professor, they put it into writing. And still yet they don't believe the Bible. Native daughter read Bible, which daughter? They have in their courtly kingdom. Or courtly people, they also have Bible in their temple. They read, they know the truth. But until you know Jesus, the Bible is not read to you. Become a novel in your hand. Going to Bible school does not make you a pastor. Ordination does not come by pouring oil. No, ordination does not come by pouring oil. That one is just for people to know that this one has been set apart to serve God. The true ordination comes from Jesus. He's the one that gave it. After they pour that physical oil on you, he come to visit you by himself because he's the owner of the church. Man is not the one that gave grace. It is Jesus that gave grace. You are not called because you go to Bible school. Anybody can go to Bible school. A professor can go to Bible school. A governor can go to Bible school. That does not mean it's called. Will I say you should stop going to Bible school? No. Go to Bible school just to acquire so that knowledge, so that you can be able to stand before people and know how to address people. But that does not make the spirit of God to come on you. Because why? I went to Bible school, I will not measure to you in those days, 2006 to 2007. My first year that I entered that Bible school, very popular. My first year that I entered that Bible school, do you know what happened? The Bible school, I was moving to the dormitory at the back. Somebody was smoking in their hand. Just say something. And a pastor. Now nah, wait, I look. Make I go close. I be make I call her. I know fair no way I go. Now I claim I my dream. I touch myself. I said, no, I dream I dream. He is supposed to be holy ground. He was smoking in the air. I have to leave there. I have to ask questions. Now the lecturer right there say, people when they day here, they condemn me. I say, what do you mean that they condemn? He said that people, when their family not see what they will use, they do again. They say, go Bible school, and only go, and I go feel use you. I carry my bag. I leave Bible school. I not complete them. I leave Bible school. I say, you mean they condemn? Me, I not condemn. I won't measure it. A popular Bible school that is known all over the whole world. I left. I enter street with my bag, with my Bible. I start preaching from hospital to hospital. 2006 to 2007, 2008, this ministry started with that Bible school. And immediately I left Bible school, a hand will come to my dream and begin to write on the board and begin to teach me scripture. A hand. That is where I know that the Holy Spirit can teach you Bible. Bible school. There were homosexual man meeting man. The lecturer said they condemn, but you know what they go through here. Yeah? Men shame not come with just the cover. Now people, you know, say he get the way when your son go take the smoke, he go take frustrate you. You will come go carry him. 
go drop her for Bible school. You just they pay school fee. They did. Nobody say don't repent. I'm telling you. I I donate you to God. Make it use you. Do it. You don't use you. You are no longer my son. You are now a son of God. And why son repent there? Son did not repent. They still came out of Bible school. They are those kind of people that they still drink before they climb altar. Okay, don't let some people pass or drink. They smoke. You just come say, I see. I see now. If I tell you what I see, maybe I'll say, tell us. I see. Can I pro, pro, pro? Maybe I'll say, pro. Every day night they say, bro. Bro now, I see. Wait till you see ten laws. I see, I see. One <laughs> pastor we jumping one day, shall fire a bottle of chessy fall from the pocket. And he just do like the fire, he just pick and put for pocket. Like one boy, one guy, man say, you see they do this thing. I don't know, you for tell us now. I say, don't be all right. You take the shot for this order. <laughs> I'm not saying it every day. I say, don't be all right. You do the shot money tonight. I say, no, this is not normal. This pass of the take. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, no say, guy, man, they your congregation. That day, if you they lie, they know. From there, you say, that thing went to my life. I say, not lie. I say, not lie. I don't feel they there before, not lie. You think they don't know? That is why when it comes to the issue of demon, you cannot fake it. Demon will tell you who you are. You want to know how genuine you are? Encounter demon. And cast it out. Then we know that you are genuine. Anybody can stand on the altar and preach. Right now Jesus is coming but let me tell you, you'll be blessed. Blessing, you're going out. Blessing, you're coming in. In Jesus' name, amen. Going extra mile to begin to do prayer like laying hand on somebody is another grace entirely. Because when you stand on the pulpit and you preach normally, demon won't talk to you. They can remain your congregation for years. There are some places they, they don't believe the deliverance. As we are doing deliverance now, some people are committing all those in a drama neither they act. Yes, now they are committing. It's normal, they must commit. Oh, there's in a drama. Why some people pass and say, why will somebody be giving attention to demon? You have been talking to demon for three hours. We don't talk to demon, we don't talk to demon. When we show up, demon just run out. Now lie. Now lie. Even Jesus talked to demon. We saw it just now. What is your name? He said, We are legion. How long have you been in this world? We have been a long time. Jesus said, Go. He said, Please don't cast us out of the city. Cast us into the head of swine. They were talking. What about Job? In the time of Job, Satan were talking with God. Satan, where have you been? He said, I'm moving to and fro. And you are not telling me that you don't talk to him. Are you greater than Jesus? That means you don't read the Bible. There was a conversation in many places in the Bible. Is it not there? Because when you hear some people say, I don't talk to demon, why would somebody be giving attention? It's because you don't have that grace. If you have the grace, you will do it. And those people that talk like that, they are watching inside their room. They say, Power, they, they, I can't try this thing. I can't. Because you can't really take it, Igbo. You call it talk to demon. Demon says, Shut up. You that just take Igbo, just if I beat you. If I beat you. Eh? I was doing deliverance one day. Inside the church on prayer line. Oh. The young man vibrates, move. You see, that say it's so good, good. He said, I wish you not be man of God. There is something that is making me not to touch. If, if I beat you, all these members, when they look, all of them go room. 
then some go jump with them. And it was and it is true. If they might be pastor for altar, eh? You go see some people. Nah, nah. Pyo, yo, yo. I first say it go happen one day. <laughs> May not help her more. I know deal. Everybody go there. What did happen? He did deal. He did grand. He did grand. Whether he died, not even a job for grand. I don't know what to do. Go and check. I don't feel for Wahala. That is why I don't wear tie. I pray sometimes, demon tear my clothes. They'll just put one on my not say pia. But there is one thing they cannot touch my soul. They can tear my cloth, but they can't touch my soul. Years ago, I went to Ujogba. That was 2009. I went to Ujogba to preach one strong village in this here. I finished preaching. Deliverance. Where they gave me to stay, I stay. In the night, demon feed the whole room. And see a battalion I come visit me. And I was just, <laughs> I was just coming up the ministry. I sit down. They say, who send you to this community? The next day, somebody gave me a car to go. As I was driving, the car left the road by himself. I was all this steady. I can see car leaving the road, running into the bush. <laughs> there he done on me. That I am on a mission and I must live well. So people finish deliverance. They sleep, they did not just wake up. If you are not caught into that area, you put the life of your wife at risk, your children at risk. Demon can visit your wife, your wife that will not misbehave before it will start misbehaving to you. Because they know the quickest way to, to, to attack you now is to make your wife to begin to insult you so that you not concentrate again. They enter your wife. That's why every man of God, you must lay hand on your wife at least every three, three days. In case they are visitor, go! Don't come and disturb me. <laughs> not let them fool before you start laying hand on as they give and small, they remove and quickly. Quick. Quickly be sweeping the house. Sweep your house. Oh, men of God. Sweep your house. Sweep your house. This is a lesson for everybody. I'm about to share the grace. After this, I will share the grace. You have learned a lesson today. Sweep your house. Every beautiful house, every fine house you see with beautiful gate mansion. No matter how fine a house look, there is a toilet. <laughs> Every house get toilet. And it depends on the kind of toilet when you get. Some toilet not they smell, but there is toilet. Some girl be toilet, why some girl? The one you call suck away, they did their toilet day. No matter how fine the house they there is ugly part. The only thing we do, don't allow the toilet to smell. Maintain it. Go and read what I said. Thank you. You see now, God has forgiven you. You already imparted. The demon has manifested. Set up. If I say stand up, they go jump. This one fell. Low. They look me like that. It's even disobedient to me now. 
And you can't say you want to cast out. Go feed. You want to come again? Go feed, why are you shock? Go feed, come. Go feed, not. Kofi is no longer himself. Let me quickly pray for Kofi. Come. Kofi, what is the problem? Eh? Relax your mind. Eh? Do like this. My minister conference, now you come. You're not bargain for this. But now you come out. Not me call you out. Eh? May you not say, nah, I, I sit down there, now you call me out. Now you raise, now you fair reason. You, you go come. Of Jesus Christ. See Kofi, there is even demon inside Kofi. And Kofi wants to deliver somebody possessed. See the problem? The mercy of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Spring out. Who are you? What have you done to him? What have you done to his life? I tell him. Huh? Because the, the power he has, he can control all over the world. What did you not do to the power? I do not do anything to him. I don't just want for him the grace God has given to him to visit. That's why I make him anything about him is vanished. Including in country, I know I'm making go. That's why I vanished. The demon say God call him, but they don't want him to do that work. Vanishing anything, why anything? Huh? Every money for your account, I vanish all of them. Every money you have in account, you vanish all of them. Yes. Who are you? Who are you? I tell him not to come here. You tell him not to come here. Why? Because if he come here, you will receive him and you will train him. When he's trained, the world will hear about him. That's why I don't want to make him come here. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Who are you? You power. You are from where? I'm from your father's house. What did the demon talk to them? He said, I won't tell you where the power is from. Whether you're from your father's house or from your mother's house. See and now. What did demon confess today? Now they reflect. To tell you, demon know you. Now you don't know yourself. They even know, say God deal with you. They know. Sometimes you have you feel frustrated. You don't even know that you have Jesus. But now then know. Because they see the light. Right now. The name of Jesus Christ as I use this divine water. Prayer. 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 I cast you. Come out. Jesus' name. Stand up. You are free. The body is empty. Coffee. How are you? Fine. What happened? I, I don't know, but I'm feeling light now. You feel light? Come. Give me your hand. <laughs> Receive impartation. Jesus' name. him up. Bring him here. Pick him up. Pick him up. Come here. Stretch your hand now to that team. Give me the mic. Oh, you dream on, in the name of Jesus, I command you to rise up.
in the name of Jesus, I command you to rise up now. You are still afraid. I'm not afraid of you. No. He already gave you power, but you still have doubt. Remove it. Are you still doubting? Come here. Are you John the Baptist? No, Daddy. Are you Thomas? No, Daddy. Let the spirit of Thomas leave you now. In Jesus' name. Quick the mic, Thomas. In the name of Jesus, hear the voice of the Lord. I command you now, manifest yourself. I command you now, I command the fire of the Lord to around you. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. And the count of the three, I command you. In the name of God the Father, the Son. No, 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 no. There is only one name that do deliver. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, 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 many of you now, now also they made that mistake. You will. That is why in baptism, many of you now you still baptize in the name of God the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the early church, it was not so. They baptized in the name of Jesus. That way, it's another class. Another day. Just speak in the name of Jesus. Stand up. In the name of Jesus, manifest yourself and go. Stand up. In the name of Jesus, stand up. In the name of Jesus, I command you to stand up. Sue, they talk to you, they are not made it to you. Oh, yeah. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Continue. In the name of Jesus, who are you in this body? I hide that in the, under the grace of my father, Apostle Priest, and I command you to manifest. You have won. Why did you go close to him? Just shift here, 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 here. Go here. But you go close to him. Because when you're close to him, the atmosphere that surrounds him he's giving it to you now you, Who are you have the power to who are you in this body in the name of Jesus I ask you to speak out <sighs> leave me I want to go Who are you? In the name of Jesus, I ask you to speak out right now. We are so many. How many are you in this body? Speak out in the name of Jesus. So, so many. So, so many. Mm -hmm. How many are you? How do you enter this body? Speak now in the name of Jesus. I command you right now. <laughs> you don't follow me. You see the fear? No. Don't worry. Relax, relax. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Why you not very fear like this that time? Huh? Now, better fear don't come now. To commit sin, I go hard. Mm. It don't, it don't humble. It don't humble. 
It's okay like that. It's okay like that. All right. Why do you want to deliver her? She's supposed to be a great child. Very smart. She knows everything. Even if she didn't Where go to school. Father? She only went to high school. This is your daughter. Came from where? We're from US. What can you say about what your daughter is manifesting? Says? Yeah, my daughter, she's always have a hunger. Hunger. Mm. But a uh, lot they tell me today to read the book of uh, Luke 12, chapter 2, chapter 3. Something hiding will be open on the eyes of God. There's something that is hiding will mm. be open. Can somebody read for us, please? Luke 12, chapter 2 and chapter 3. That's where the Lord says you should read today. Mm. What we are saying now, what can you say? Uh, I think God is always the best time is God's time. It's God's time. Because me, myself, I see I have a calling, but I do know what I need to do. Uh, I have a sickness. Don't worry, you'll be free. See about that. Because I born a, in a Christian family. My father was a elder, the foundation of Pentecost Church in Congo. That church last year organized 100 years. But almost the elder of that church, all of them died by diabetes. And our community, generation to generation, that sickness is continuing to get everybody. And God was using them, was praying to like uh, today, mantle if you were in hospital, and then he take to you, and then you get him. But after that, because there was a like a community church, a religion church, Pentecost church, he bring the pastor, the one that was say from the Bible school. He don't want uh, the old one. He didn't go to school. It start changing, changing. And then we start see the church, things start change. Meaning, Satan enter inside the church. And then it cost everyone. Did you understand what he's saying now? It was a good church before. Until they start saying, all those people that were, God were using there, that they not go school. Peter goes school. Now start bringing people who can speak very well. The church can't scatter. Don't worry, I will see you. We thank God for your daughter. You can see all the way from U.S. to Ekoma here. Thank you, Jesus. Are you clapping for Jesus all over the whole world? is up. You leave this body, you will never come back again. She's supposed to be a great child. She knows literally everything. She wants to, she has that dream of becoming human rights of law, of people. be able to change the things that is going on in Africa. But I'm the one who stopped you. Who are you? Me. Yes. You want to know me. You already know me now. Who are you? You already know me. Who are you? Me. Magnificent man giant 
tall, handsome. No man in this room is handsome, but except you. Who are you? From which kingdom? From which kingdom? From Lucifer. Okay, you are Lucifer. Why do you want to destroy her? You see, the demon all of you are trying to cast us is, is Lucifer. And Lucifer does not tolerate uh, nonsense. All of you that came out today, I will pray for you specially. Because you are going to touch the root. Kofi, you don't hold Bible, you don't. <laughs> for now, you become a member of a church. You become a member. From there, God will start raising you up. You are Lucifer. Yes. Huh? Yes. What is your mission on this earth? My mission on this earth? Yes. Well, she didn't know that I'm in her. She didn't know. She didn't. She went to school. In junior high, she was doing great. In high school, not that great because I'm the one who manipulates her to not be great because I know she can be a great young lady. Very great. Even his family members, people, we know them. They are from village in their country. A village where nobody is known. Nobody is called the village name is called Rubarika. That's the village name. Is that your village? In that place. In that place. Her father. That man over there. 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 Not your father. No. He cannot be my father. Me. I'm older than him very much older. He's a small See, boy I'll to me. tell you a different person is talking. That is Lucifer talking. He cannot be the father. He's the father of this girl. But not he. Because <laughs> mystery. This one is your father now. This is your father. My father? Yeah. No. I've been there before he was even born. So how can he be my father? I'm his father's father, 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 father. Ah! <laughs> Very old. Me. He cannot be my father. To me, he's like small thing. So, yeah. That's why even the diabetes is complaining about I am the one who put it into him. You say he gave the, the, the man diabetes. You have diabetes? Yes. You have been suffering it? Yes. How long? Since 2020. If this, if this demon is cast out today now, this man will be here. Can you clap for Jesus, please? Those of you that have diabetes, you don't know why it's not going. That is why you must take your children for deliverance. I thank God for this program. Lucifer says he's the one that put it there. How can daughter, if you ask this man, this man will tell you, I've gone to the best daughter. And still yet, he's spending money on that thing. Huh? I, I drink a medicine of $600 every month. He drink a mercy of $600 Every month. Every month. That is, that is some people's salary. Uh, salary say. More than salary. For Nigeria here, we'll go give you this thing. 
who dash who dash you for where? Try God. If na 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 Africa na that one, they go feed buyer. The man for dog go. If I don't go now, because why cannot be able to maintain his head, hospital day to maintain diabetes. I pray for you. Sit down. If I be a man of God, hear me this night. Immediately I share the grace. I release you. Immediately I share the grace. We are coming back tomorrow morning. And that tomorrow morning, we will spend a long time on the service because of our Sunday service and Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is partner's meeting. If you are not a partner, go and partner quickly. Tomorrow, impartation. Tomorrow, partners. I will be praying for everybody. I will be releasing this anointing water. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you. Every battle donated into your life by Lucifer. As this lady and the family will be delivered, that battle is out of your life. Can I hear that? Amen. Can I hear that? Amen. That man of the soup that they have marked with the spirit of death. I repeat it again. If I be a man of God. Bring them out. No demon escape from this arena. I pray for that woman. I pray for that man. I pray for that family. In the name of Jesus. 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 Be released. Be free. Be free. Be free, be free, be free, be free. What is your mission? What are you doing to the youth in this same time? You Lucifer. The youth? Yes. Well, she used to like to listen to world music. But the first time she saw you, she was sick. She saw me where? She saw you on their living room in the couch. There was a young man. He was confessing his pastor that he was a courtist. He used to kill men but not women or ladies because he has a mother the and a sister. That was delivered here that he used to kill. He was delivered. He was watching Synagogue TV. That is the first time they watched me and they saw me. Not away from the US. They start looking for this place. Go on. Well, she saw the video. Even though when his mother, her mother, I me, mean, and her father he used to watch a lot of men of God for her. When she sees it, then she will just be like, these people in mind of God do. They like to put, that was. 2021, then they started putting Emmanuel TV in the house. I didn't like that man, and I still don't do I don't like him because he destroys Ooh. me a lot. Oh, I don't say his name, you know his name now. You don't like which man? I don't like that man, you know his name. Who? Your father. Who is my father? Your father. Who is my father? Your father. Who is my father? He has a name. Is he by force to say his name? Ah. Uh -huh. He's not by force. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. What is he called? It's called 
Emmanuel. Is it not his name? Emmanuel. <laughs> Mention the name now. I said Emmanuel. He disturbed you a lot. Mm -hmm. How is he disturbing you? There are men when they put you on the TV. Ah. ah. Go in his room. I'll go. I'll tell her to go in her room. She'll go in her room. Start putting hip hop, rumba. She start dancing music. And she can dance very, very well. How did she dance? Hmm? My music. People that I put in the world to sing my music. Okay, you put people in the world to sing your music. Yeah, now they come to look for power. To be famous. Even pastors, they come to me now. Who are you? I'm Lucifer. I say hip hop. He said they want to be famous. Okay, the, when you not give them the power to be famous, what did they give to you in return? What did they give to me in return? Yes. They give me praise. They give you praise? Yes. All those music give you praise? They give me praise and they bring a lot of young men and women. I made her to, to be drinking. You make this lady to be drinking? Mm hmm Take you what kind of drink? Only rosé, wine, only, and corona. Rose, who shall be rosé? Tell me, now, I don't know. Now, wine, very strong wine. Strong wine. It's not strong. Corona. I just say I can't either the cook. I don't know saying I don't feel. Okay, you you gave her those things to drink. Yeah no. And what happened? Well, I also afflict his father. His yes. father is the one who started to drink. Because I manipulated him to start. Because like father, like daughter. So you were drinking? Huh? Yes, I was drinking. Okay. Yeah. Say I manipulate the father to be drinking. Say a family problem. I pray for you again. Every family trending. Every family problem that is trending from father to children. Because as a father, you are taking this program. It stop from you today. Lucifer. How is Jesus destroying your kingdom? Well, me, I wanted to become like him. I wanted to be above him, but he threw me down like fire. He splashed me down. But I read the scripture today. I beheld Satan falling like a light. You know, he wanted to overthrow God because of his pride. And God threw him down. This is Lucifer we are dealing with now. May you, may you carry grace. I've been saying it since how many days now? If you truly come here genuinely, unless you did not come here genuinely. You say it throw you down. I hear now. But, he gave me power to control the world. He gave me it. He gave you power. Yeah. The power he gave to you, he did not collect it. Mm -hmm. To control the war. Yeah, he didn't collect it because I asked him. He gave me the power. He didn't collect it. Is he not because he didn't collect it because 
he wanted to teach the world that there is two parts at the end hell and internal life so on the judgment day I have my people a lot of thousands of people you have people a lot of them that I will present how many to him billions millions billions countless a lot in the world in the world yes you have people people If I say he has people, it's true. Uh -huh. and those people walking naked in the distance, dancing as we are here now, they are dancing in the club. Uh -huh. Are they not from Lucifer? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you, what are you? What are you? What are you? What do you want to hear next? What do you want to hear? Uh -huh. What do you want to hear? You say you have billions of people. Uncountable. Accountable. Yes. How did you win them? Those people. Yeah. As I said, through music. Mostly, I like young and vibrant blood. You like blood? Yeah. Young ones. Young ones. Youth. Special. Because youth, they don't listen. They don't listen to the advice of elders. They don't. They don't. They don't listen. You win a lot of youth. Youth. I put them, manipulate them. Everyone wants to be a singer. Everyone wants to be famous. To have, to be popular. To have numbers on social medias. Everyone wants to emulate those, those big, big, big famous people but they don't know those famous people they belong to my kingdom Illuminati hey! battle has started battle has started everybody tight your bed battle has started you will not enter anybody here as you leave this place, you will go to your pit of hell. You won't enter anybody here. I cover this arena with the blood of Jesus. The mercy of Jesus Christ. The mercy of Jesus Christ. You say they belongs to your kingdom. What did you give to them? They want wealth, money, money, money. Money is the evil of everything. Money. That paper called money. Everyone likes money. Nobody doesn't like money. But there is money from God and money from me. From me, I don't give my money just easily. <laughs> no. The rich is from the Lord. Make it rich and add dead no soul. I pray for you. The one you will have, it will be from God. So that when you leave this world, your children will still enjoy it. Have learned a lesson today. Have you not learned a lesson today? You say there is money from you, there is money from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you know it too. You know it. You know it very well. You know it. Those are wait for the Lord. Yes. Yeah, you know it. You know it because. You, what you have is from the Lord. Like the way Solomon asked Jesus, wisdom, 
that's what you have your wealth is like wisdom that's why man of God a lot of them they are not happy for you because you have the heart of giving love all of these people who are here it's because of your love you have but your love is greater nobody in here has that kind of love that's why I don't know how she's been struggling you know she works she doesn't save she tried when she starts seeing you like to be a partner she watched that video the same day exactly she says she wants to be a partner and she signed her partnership on the first day she saw the prophet manifesting testimony of that young man what is partnership doing to you? Partnership. People, a lot of people, they do partnership in different ministry. But that one yeah, is useless. It's useless. But from you, when she did a partnership from you, ah, I was very, very angry. You were very, very angry. Very, very angry. Why were you angry? Because now, She's gonna she'll be free. She'll be free. Those who partner with me, they'll be free. Those who partner with you, most of them they play with their partnership, but they don't know what they are under. They don't know if they know the meaning of your grace. They could be partners. Not every month. No every single day partner every single day but nope because I must manipulate them now I have my power and you have your powers so I use them in where their weakness lies gossip lying pride some partners they have pride. Even their leaders, they have pride. Pride. Very pride. They want to show you what they have achieved. But instead of showing it to God, they want to show to the world. But no. But your love is greater because they are under your grace. This is a food for thought. If you are under this grace, never allow anything to manipulate you. Because you are still seeing me now. When I now finish my assignment and go back to my maker, partner with me now when I'm still seeing you to fast forward the gospel I was telling you people today that as a man of God go and partner don't live here you will stop partnering you say after all now because I just want impartation after then I'm no more partner you are only doing yourself you want to grow fast become a partner I'm not asking you to bring tight for me become a it will help you. Not me. It will help you. You. Have you ever wake up? You just wake up for your house. God say, send money to my house. Did you think you are the one that just tried to do? Is God talking to you? That means you are a child of God. Is God speaking to you? I know God gave me grace. I know what God gave to me. But so many people, even the worker working with me, they don't even know. Because they are too close to me. And that's why sometimes, so many people that follow prophets, 
that live with him, they don't always benefit. Outside that benefit more than they. Because over what? Familiarity. Because he sit with you. He discuss with you. Therefore, what else? It's dangerous. Don't be too familiar with your man of God. Follow him. See him the way God sees him. Then it will work for you. There is no true person here who truly connect to this church. That you will tell me that you bury your children. It's not possible. It's not possible. I am telling you right here. Have you know what I'm saying? God is looking at every, every one of us. It's not possible. If you used to bury your children, maybe it's when you did not know this grace. Now you know this grace. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not, po it's not possible. It, it's not. You won't lose your children. Because your children, they are your generation. They are the one that will represent you. When you are finished your own, your children is your generation. You won't lose your children. You won't lose your business. That is why my partners, I don't play, I don't play with their business. If, if you are a partner, I can from here travel to any place, to any state, to go and pray for your business. I can do it because why? Partnership. You are the reason why the gospel is going fast. I am on internet now. Generation is burning. For since a uh, Wednesday now, this that has burned is over 2 point something million. And we are here now. Nobody have taken a seat. Say special seat. But partners has done it. They make me to talk less. We have painted the house of God now. We have spent over uh, 50 something million. Work is going on there. Partner make me not to be thinking. My BP will not rise. Because I will not begin to crack my brain. How will I do this? They make it easy. My own is to begin to pray for them. I owe them that prayer. If I don't pray for them, it become a sin on my side. Because why? They are doing what I'm supposed to be thinking about. Therefore, let me go to mountain and stand in the cab to intercede for them. That is the meaning of partnership. I pray to God that this is a lesson that everyone will live here today and increase your partnership and stand firm. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated. Never you say one day, I have be partnering. But my life still remains like this. You will be partnering, your life remains like this. What if you were not partnering at all? Yes, also ask yourself that question. No matter what you think that God has not done, there is something God has done. There is one elderly man here. He will only tell me, he said, everything I have is for God. Then I will use it to serve God. Anytime he say that thing, he always touch my heart. It's not everybody that will talk like that. That everything I have is for God. He take genuine blessing for you to talk like that. And a heart for God. Therefore, tomorrow is partnership. A fresh oil will be coming upon everybody's head. And the partition. I know my visitor, this is your coming now. <laughs> in fact, in fact, you will carry the blessing, not just the blessing, this to people. You will go and change your group. You will change their life. You go there, give them, give them, tell them it's from me. I cannot come to that country now, but you have gone there to represent me. And what follow me must follow you. Especially pray on special garment for all of you that is leader. I will especially give it to you before you leave. Before you leave, 
pray on those prayer garments that I used to go to Mount. I will give it to you. Come. You have, you have sacrificed yourself to work for God. It's the most beautiful thing. Today we have beautiful, beautiful lady. How many of them are ready to work for God? For you to see a beautiful lady say, I want to serve God, I want to work for God. You take the grace of God. In this time, in this time, nobody have not to do because they think those who are serving God, they are foolish. And we are foolish. But see yet, we are wise in the sight of God. We are foolish in this world, but we are wise in the sight of God. Put your hand together for Jesus. And right now, your time is up. My time is up. I know. I know. I know my time is up. Just because of you. I wanted her to suffer. She works. She doesn't have anything. To come here, she struggled. She asked her younger brother to borrow her 1,000 and six hundred dollar to pay for her ticket to come right now everything that she will work for now she will begin to receive good because she's no longer your property she's now the property of jesus right now your time has expired Let the angel walking with me on that door. Can you see him? Can you see that beautiful angel? It's against you. It's against you, Lucifer, to send you to hell where you belong. The other angel blocked there. Jamaica My master is on the altar Huh? I can see him surrounded everyone here is surrounded with good news and with blessing and the ugly demon among us as this Lucifer is going the ugly one among us will come out in the name of Jesus Jesus just cast his shadow upon the altar now just cast his shadow upon the altar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what is this anointing water divine doing to you? Fire. It's burning me. It's burning me. And everybody that will receive it what may happen? 
every bird that will receive that 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 one over there. Mm. That one, that one, that one, that one. Which one? That that one, that one. Call the name now. No. Why would I call the name? It's already destroying me. We want, me to, we want him to consume me. It will consume me. Why would I say? It? I don't want to be consumed. That one over there. Yeah. If everybody get it around the world. Oh. I'm finished. You are finished. I'm finished. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now, wait till I want here. You are finished. <laughs> Lucifer says he's finished. Zoom. My father, my father. Anointing water is coming. Get prepared. Get prepared to increase your partners. Get prepared, kingdom builders. Get prepared, gold and diamond partner. Get prepared. Get prepared. She, said she wants to be a kingdom builder. But no money. No she, money. She decided to give her all. She gets paid by weekly. She gets paid five hundred dollar. And that job, it does not befit her because she's a very mighty lady. God will now promote her now and gave her a better job. Send half of her salary to be a kingdom builder. She sent $300. And she said she has to be here whether fire or war. It's just because of you you and that bracelet she gets from you this bracelet okay what is this bracelet doing to you this one that blue that blue one she when she became a partner, she went to a maternal place where they used to live when they were when she was young. Her family, mother and father decided to go and show her where she came from. Well, I didn't want her to know where she came from. I know she knows she's a Congolese and the Burundian but I didn't want her to go but the father and the mother decided to take her to Burundi she didn't go with the bracelet because they haven't sent it to her but her family when she watched that video her mom she keep on putting your channel in her, their house well, she left her mom and her dad for a week. She went there first. When she went there so the second time, she left them there. That was last year. They keep on putting. Man, I thought when she goes over there, she won't be able to watch you because she won't have internet. But she look all means. She even buy in internet code so that she can watch you. She bought it. I was manipulating the the network. But no, because of your grace, because of that fifty dollars she partnered before she went to her country, protected her. She began to watch while a family member also they are watching. And then she convinced her family to become partners. Even the boyfriend that he says he wants 
to marry her. He's a very brilliant young man. Very mighty. When they come together, everyone will know that God is using them to support you. To support me? Yes, to why, become partners. Why did you not want them to support me? Um, I don't like good things. You don't like good things? I like to destroy. Okay, when they support me, what will happen? When they support you, the ministry will oh, bigger and bigger. And they won't support you, chicken change. No. In millions. Because they are great people. They will support you in millions and trillions. Huh? They will support you in millions and trillions. Who? If those two. If you deliver her, I'm finished. Very finished. Because okay, they will support me in millions and trillions. trillions. Okay, you are finished. I'm finished because if you deliver her and so many people that I have captured will be delivered too. And also they will become partners. They will grab hands together and hold your hands. All the nation. Even those people they don't even understand where this village is. Thank you, Jesus. They will know. You see, when this one delivered, now many will be delivered. They will begin to partner with Synagogue TV. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, fire! Go! Manifest. Go! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You lose it. Ah, leave me alone! Oh, leave me alone. I just told you I want to go now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go. Ah, ah, Move. Ah, ah. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at Lucifer. 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 You see, he's angry. He's angry. He's angry. Just let me go freely. I already tell you my secret. Let me go freely now. You must go with injury. No. No. Name of Jesus Christ. The mercy of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The mercy of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Also true in our the mighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For the weapons of our warfare are not can. The mighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is a real battle, not gossip. The mighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. The mercy of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mercy of Jesus Christ. Stop! Stop! Fire! 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 Leave me! I'll go! Fire! 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
will go. I will go. You win. Go. You win the battle. I will go. You win the battle. I will go. I will go. You win. I don't need say to tell her. I don't need say to tell her. Apostle Prince don't need say to tell her. The spirit of God has entered. And it's a spirit of worship. Satan wanted to use this one. But Jesus has taken over. <laughs> Satan won't use your children. Amen. Jesus will be the one that will use them.
envisagé. How are you? Fine. What happened? I don't know. Just saw myself here. Just saw yourself here? Yes. Do you know what you have been doing since? No. You want to fight? Fight who? You? Yeah. Uh-uh. You. you are very mighty. How can I fight you? Huh? For Jesus Christ. May you become a property of God. Yeah. As far as I continue pastoring this church, you will not serve devil. Yeah. No way. Not when I am here. You must follow Jesus whether you like it or not. If you come here after this conference, you still want to go back to the enemy. You will continue seeing me in your dream. You will continue hearing my voice. There will be no peace until you repent. Now for Jesus. you now. People are crying all over the world. Come, sir. Your daughter is free. Thank you. Diabetes is gone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I know this is my last stop. Last. Everyone that visit this synagogue, you will not come in vain. You will not come in vain. You tell me the time I was in any pain in any hotel. You tell me your son is gonna take you free of all the problem you guys have. When you were coming here in your accommodation, you saw who? Since since 2020, I was donated this jewelry. I ran to Lagos to look for for healing. I spent 40 days in hotel in Lagos. The coronavirus virus just arrived, and then the church was closed. There was no way. I was going to synagogue church in door crying day, crying day. After that, again. Deportation to go back to US. And then I get a, a partnership same time for Emmanuel TV. I just partner with you. are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Don't cry. Don't cry. You are free. The God of TV Joshua has delivered you. Yes. He said that. Huh? He said that. Oh, TV Joshua. 
told you your dream. December, I was running everywhere. 2020, I was in a wise man Daniel church. The God of Tim Joshua has delivered you. Yes. Put your hand together for Jesus. Yes. What is your name? Esther. Esther. Esther, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. Marry me. You are free. Thank you. Okay, Esther would be the first person to receive this anointing material. Madam, finally. it on your father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on me. Today is my day. And my entire family. And my entire village. That cost for diabetes, for my village, for everyone. Today is the last. That means the diabetes is for the entire community. Yes, it's a generational cost. It's killing people in the whole village. Generational cause is about to end tonight. Yeah. Caused by Lucifer. The one that caused the whole world to panic. Lucifer. Use it on your father. Spray it on the mount. And the whole generation will be delivered. Jesus. Jesus. is free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need to tell I don't need to tell Apostle Prince don't need to tell My father, right now, there is prayer line tomorrow. You are crying. No worry. There will be prayer line tomorrow. If you are sick, your sickness is over. With this one now, it's a food for thought. I know you have learned a lesson. Immediately we share the grace. You will just go and take your food and go and rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow we are not doing any other thing. We are just coming for prayer night. Prayer word night. Tomorrow if there is any gift you want to soak into the life of the prophet. And if there is any gift you want to sow to the church building, you come with it tomorrow. Or you see me personal. There are some people who don't want to give openly. They 
love to give secretly. Tomorrow, immediately, those who want to give secretly, now see me one on one. We sit down with you in the office. And those of you who want to give openly, we just give it tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. Then we we'll just go to the prayer line. If there is grace for you to visit mountain, you will go to the mountain, you also go and do prayer. We we'll close, then we we'll now prepare for Sunday service. Those of you who want to dedicate your children, anything you want to dedicate on Sunday is dedication. Then our next conference will be taking place, taking a uh, this in the month of November. November 1st, November 2nd, November 3rd, November 4th, November 5th, 2023. Then November 6th, which is on Monday, will be my birthday. And the church, will, uh, the, the dedication of the church will also be completed one year. The way you are all complete here, so you will also be complete that day. No one will be found missing. You will enjoy your life. Stand up if somebody is blessed tonight. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Who will I give this bracelet to now? Show this one, whoever that can catch it. My father, you are doing well. You have been watching the deliverance. Yeah, Esther, she's very, very smart. She's very smart. Like she was telling me last time about, you know, uh, the Zoom went off, so when we went to uh, uh, the room where we lodged, she said she know what happened to the Zoom, and she wants to work for you, so, so that she can help with the technical issue. You are happy? Yes. You are watching the deliverance. You are blessed. Yes. This is another dimension. Yes, sir. You're watching the deliverance. Yes, Daddy, it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I was shocked and surprised because she just looked like a normal child. And what she displayed there, you wouldn't believe that something is in her. So it is amazing to be in the right place at the right time. Put your hands together for Jesus. Our God is a big God. Thank God. You fly for how many hours? Cross a lot of sea. You did not come in vain. You are now going home with a blessing. Thank you. Nobody see a prophet that will remain the same. Yeah. What can you say? It's a, the best experience ever. I learned a lot today. As, a, as I'm going to be working with you, this just humbled me. Mm. I'm humbled. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Esther, a new beginning. What can you say? Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. This is actually a living church. A living church. A living church. Um, I experienced something um, this morning. 
I think when um, I, I congratulated Esther and saying that I was saying to her that you got to, you got to, you know, you've been delivered. Um, and she turned to me and said, um, you did, you, you know, you did. She was referring to say, saying that um, as of though um, what um, transpired was it last night. Um, this morning, and I said, no, it's not we actually me. It was Jesus, the devil, wanted me to develop that pride as of though um, it was a high goal in, you know, doing these things. And the Bible says that all of these things done through faith in Jesus Christ and faith in Jesus Christ alone. Faith in Jesus Christ. And I'm happy for her that she's been delivered. I have my two daughters. Two daughters. One is 21 and the other is 22, 23. Both of them grew, grew, grew up in the church. The Lord just saying that they are atheists. They have nothing to do with God. And it, it, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. And um, just to come here to see an actual move, an actual a manifestation where the Bible comes alive. It's amazing. I, I, it cost me three planes to come here. One from Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica. Uh, and it's amazing that when I come here and I say, Who, do you know Jamaica? Um, some, some of the men say, um, yes, we are Nigerian. We know Bob Marley. Everybody mentioned Bob Marley and Houston Bolt. And you know, just to see a, a move of God, three, it worth it. It worth it. Three plane all over the ocean. It almost 20, 25,000 miles just to come and witness this. It's amazing. I'm gonna go back with everything. I, um, I'm, I'm sorry um, if you think I'm greedy. But I'm going to have to go back with everything that God has, that Jesus Christ himself has in this place. In this Jesus. place. And I will be very, um, um, I'm very, very grateful. And I will ever, my life is, is changed. And I will be ever, ever be a part of this ministry, Jesus ministry. Not a pastor ministry. But Jesus' ministry, and I will ever be a part of it, ever be a part of it, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. From Jamaica, you know how many planes it take? Three plane. and somebody is in Epo Maye, and somebody is in Epo Maye, and I see, 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 and see, is complaining that you want to go home. You are not serious. When I come here, somebody fly three plane from one country to another, take another plane to another country, take another plane to Nigeria. Tiri plane. Then somebody is in the market square here is complaining, I uh, mean I close, make I go. May God forgive you. <laughs> because a prophet is not honoring his own place. Is it not so? Until foreigner will come now and take over the church. Then you start complaining. Don't complain. No. The hour has come. You are welcome. God bless you. You are welcome. You are welcome. I greet every one of you. I came from far to witness this program. It's our program we'll keep on doing from time to time. We we'll just pray for the next program. The other accommodation will be available. A lot of people will be coming. This is your home. It's your home. Introduce your children here. Introduce your family here. Your wife. It's your home. You will not regret of knowing this ministry. It's your home. Introduce your children here. So that when it is time God call you home, your children will continue from where you stood. It is good to serve God. He pays. Introduce your children to this home. It's a relationship. 
It's a relationship. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall never pass away. Let us hold this ministry. Let us plant our seed here. The seed has been planted, but let us water the tree because it has started bearing fruit. Let everybody carry water and water the tree. Water it. If it is cup, you can use to take water. Go there and water the tree. This is the tree. If it is covered bottle, take. God sees it. Use it to water it. If it is drum, you are capable. Use it to water it. You are sowing a seed for your generation. Because you don't know what is for showing you. But God knows. Everything you do, God use it to fight your battle. If it is tanker, you can use to fetch. Use it to water it. You said tanker is too small, cup is too small, drum is too small. You just want to connect pipe to the ocean and bring it to the ministry. You are welcome. Thank you, Jesus. And God will help you to do so. 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 Let me tell you one of the things you will see. By the time on Sunday we finish this program, you will get to your business, business will change. Everything you have been asking for God, that the enemy has been attacking you not to receive them. This week, you will see all of them manifested. All those money that they are owing you will start coming out. And every debt you are owing, God will pay it. The way God will pay it, even you, you will be surprised that it come with speed. God will bless that business. And all those people working under you that is pulling your business, that God will expose them. And remove them from your company. So that the good one that God himself will put there, that will represent you, not the one that will destroy you, will be the one that will be there. Because you are a child of God. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Stand up everybody. I cover your family with the blood of Jesus. I cover your dream with the blood of Jesus. I cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. What you have learned tonight will not be taken away from you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty, they will pray. Let us give an offering unto the Lord. Okay. Let us give an offering unto the Lord. Why you pick up your candle? Pick up your candle. And also hold your offering everywhere. Pick up your candle. I will light my own. Then I will use my own to light your own. I will bless all the candle. The numbers of the children you have, use one, one, one to represent them. Um, please, you bring a carton of it to me because of my visitors here. The numbers of the children you have, use one one to represent them. The light will not quench in your family. Amen. Lift up your offering, your sacrifice, your seed. Drop it, drop it on the ground here. Drop it, drop it before we light the candle.
Yes, yes, yes. 
I light your candle all over the world in the name of Jesus. Light it now. And I bless every candle in your hand in your home with the blood of Jesus. They shall see the blood and they shall pass over. As I light your own, you will light others own. Others who let it circulate. Light others who let it circulate. it up. There shall be no lost. In the month of June, there shall be no lost. I decree your testimony now. I decree your testimony now. Your greatness manifests now. Your light continues shining now. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Tell God what you want from him. Open your mouth and talk to him. mighty name we pray. The Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. 
and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Father, as many that attend this program, all those that are watching all over the world, let their light shine brighter. Amen. I can't hear that, amen. amen. Let that experience break through. Amen. Good health, amen. favor, amen. testimony, amen. increase, amen. abundance. Amen. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no loss. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This candle, they are already blessed. Anytime you are expecting anything from God, just take it, light it, and pray with it. You will know there is power in the blood of Jesus. Light it and pray with it. I'm telling you this. This is a prophetic word for you. Pray with it. Just light it. You can even make it inside your bucket of water you used to bath. Pray with it. You will see. The prophet does not just speak. You we see. But this is not crossover service, but this one is prophetic. I say it's what? You can offer it. All of you, all our visitors, all your come and take from the blessed one to the altar. Stand up for the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest about with us now forever and ever. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the hands of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can I hear your amen? Another amen. amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. Glory to God. Are you blessed? Have you learned something in this conference? Now get prepared for your impartation. Tomorrow. I say tomorrow. <laughs> God bless you. Have your seats so that we can go and eat. I don't know whether that one is breakfast or dinner. Only. <laughs> I don't know whether it's breakfast, dinner or lunch.
We are of God, not all this world. We the love of Christ in us. Let's create a whole new world where the love of Christ abides. A fruit of love. We are seen at God's feet. Arise, arise, seen at God's feet. Let love lead in all we do. We know grudges in our heart. God Christ's nature. Let's go. 